Good morning, Lego fans. Boone here. I have the Lego Creator 3-in-1 Medieval Castle. This thing came from the Lego AFL Engagement Team. Uh, so thank you to them for sending this over so that I can share it with you. I'm going to open it up in just a moment. Let's uh, switch up the view here a little bit so you guys can see the box in its full glory. Here it is. It is going to be super awesome. Here's the front of the box. I'm going to open this in just a moment, and I'm going to get started building. I'm going to build this live until I'm done this morning. Let's uh, take a look at the back. So here is the back of the box. This is set number 31120. This uh, thing has a total of... Let's see how many pieces does this thing have. This thing has... Um, I've got the, I've got the, uh, what is this? I've got the European box, so I don't, it doesn't say how many pieces it has on the front. And uh, I just landed on a site and it's not telling me. So I'm coming back here. Hey, uh, Chris now supplies gears <laughs> is here. We've got a uh, demure Yali Isaiah. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm about to open this thing up. Um, I also have here, we'll take a, just a quick, closer look at some of the extra pictures we got here so these are this is the back of the castle as i think as it's depicted on the front of the box is there a windmill no i don't see a windmill so this is the one with the windmill is one of the secondary builds and um here you see the castle as it's depicted on the front, but in its closed up position. Snowlena is here. Albrick's Count is here. Brendan, hey, what's up? How's everybody doing? This kind of looks like sort of a chair, maybe a throne room area. This is like a, one, a what do you call that? A water turbine, water wheel. And then this is the back of the A model. So we'll say that the the castle on the front of the box is the a model and uh and then one of these is the b model with the windmill and then this is sort of like a tall rapunzel tower type thing so we will get into that let me back that camera out just a little bit here so we'll go back to the front of the box this is the castle medieval castle if you're just joining us i'm about to open and build the creator three in one medieval castle but i do want to announce because this this all just went live like 10 minutes ago these are the other summer three uh three and one creator sets that are coming this is the uh the ferris wheel we've got here that's another three and one it's gonna be awesome it's not as big as ferris wheels from the past but it is awesome and uh it can be hooked up to power functions or powered up uh let's see there is also a new three-in-one shuttle, space shuttle coming. Here's that. And I'll be doing something with all of these in the next, in the next uh, few weeks here on Boone Builds. There is also, man, this one, my daughters are really excited about this one. This is a fish tank, and I think that's really cute. With some, I, I showed this to my kids, and they immediately were like, it's all the dory fish. So there's a fish that kind of looks like Dory, and there's a fish that kind of looks like Nemo, and I guess that was enough for them to say, it's all the Dory fish. It is not officially licensed Disney or Pixar. Um, and then this is a crocodile. So those are all coming out on June 1st, but this morning I am building the medieval castle, and I think it's time to dive in. T-Cat Town is here, says, good morning. Snowlena says, oh, wow, will you be building the other three, three in one sets? I will, but I, I don't think I'm going to build any more today. I'm going to build the castle today because I think the castle is the one that most people are going to be excited about seeing today. Brickham's Den is here. Brickham's Den, welcome. I've got a bunch of stuff left over from my last shoot over here on the left side of the screen, so please forgive me. And it's time to open it up. Where is a... I need something to open it up with. I'll use my handy-dandy Lego... Letter opener from Mail Time. One of the awesome viewers here sent that probably about a year ago. Hey, that was super easy. Look at this. Here we go. We are diving right in. Margie is here. And I'm going to dump out the Lego Creator 3 in 1 Medieval Castle Snow Lena. Oh, I just bumped my camera. 
I'm getting new. I'm getting used to some uh, new things here in the studio. Let me see. Do I need to reset that now? Maybe if I just go like, like that, it thinks it's where it's at. It thinks, it thinks it's where it's supposed to be. But I bumped it out of the way. <laughs> Snowlena, five dollars says spaceship, spaceship, spaceship. I'm so getting three of those build all three versions. Awesome. Love it. Thank you so much for supporting the chat with five dollars. Five dollars from Snowlena. Five dollars from Snowlena. Thank you very much, Snowlena. There's actually quite a number of pieces in this. I think this must have over a thousand pieces. I pulled up the wrong information. I'm gonna see if I can find one more bit of information here about this is from Brick Brick Catch. Um, bum, 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 bum. Uh, pieces, 1,500, 1,500 pieces in the medieval castle. So I'm gonna, I gotta crank, thin, I gotta crank into this. Aaron is here. Ben is here. Brennan is here. Ben says, "Good morning, Boone. You're on early. I am on early because the embargo just lifted for these new Creator Three and One sets. So I am now officially allowed to show them." Build them on camera, talk about them, and I'll probably, I, 1,500, how many pieces, let's see, I gotta build fast, I'm hoping I can do this in three hours, I don't know, I don't know, there it is, it's two books, this thing is bigger than I thought it was going to be, I feel like 1,500 pieces is a considerable castle set from Lego, back in the day, oh, okay, so we don't need the second book, the second book has the two alternate builds in it. So there you can see the one that has a windmill, kind of an archery tournament looking thing. And then the one that is like a big tall castle, like a tall tower. It reminds me of Rapunzel. I know I keep saying Rapunzel. And uh, Ben says speed build time. Yeah, I don't know how speedy this build is going to be, but that's okay. I'm going to do, 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 do. Is that where I'm at? I'm getting used to a new a bit of a new setup here and I think it's super cool but like I don't have it all kind of figured out yet all right the book is going over here and maybe I should have asked y'all what um, which of the three models you wanted to see but I, I think I really want to start with with the a model first da 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 is here Chris with two two I don't know that is that um two pounds, two euro, two pounds, and and no nothing to say. Thank you very much, Chris, for making a small super chat. Uh, I shouldn't say small. That's huge. That's two two pounds is uh is awesome. So thank you so much. I apologize. I said that that was lame of me. Um, it's early in the morning. There are a lot of bags here. There's, we're going to go up to at least six. Here's three. That's two. Oh, there's a four. And, hey, there's a one. Any other ones? Five, one more one there. And a seven. Holy smokes, this goes all the way up to seven. Let's open up this one. Where do I want to have my book? Maybe down here see a little bit of it if I put it there thank you Chris Chris says uh, I'll be buying at least two of the castle set yeah it's gonna be awesome and I hope you enjoy watching the build here I'm gonna dive right in 25 folks checking out the build at this current moment thank you so much for watching everybody welcome back to Boone builds here where my hope is to inspire creativity for fans of Lego, just like you and me. And um, hope we'll have a lot of fun. Aqua Mike! Aqua Mike! <laughs> on a train or on a bike, here comes Aqua Mike! <laughs> it should be like on a boat. I think that's probably how I said it originally. And I think the tune was a little bit different. Sorry, Aqua Mike. I think I made up a theme song for you like a year ago, and uh, that wasn't it, but it was close, I think. Aqua Mike says, hey everybody, hey Boone. 
Everybody, we're having a good time. So here, this is a... I believe these guys are inspired by Black Falcons from, I want to say, late 80s. We'll, uh, we'll do a little bit of research here in a moment. Let's put this guy together. And he's got kind of a cool beard and a cool helmet. And I can zoom way in on this guy, and you can see what it looks like. And he's got that Black Falcon crest on his chest. And it is... Um, it's shiny, so I think part of that must be drum lacquered or whatever they do to make prints shiny. And somewhere in here, he's going to have an archery bow. Where's that archery bow? There's some cool vines. Archery. Ah, oh, there it is. Right there. I should have known. should have known it would be right there in the middle with that little tiny stuff. And we'll put that on. Okay, cool. In the chat, what do you think this guy's name should be? What should we name this guy? Drop me some names. A good, uh, good medieval name. This is, after all, called the Medieval Castle. And I'm going to come over here to this window. And uh, let's see if I share. And share screen. And here we go. We've got... Um, we're going to say goodbye to Nathan Sawaya real quick. And we're going to go to um, Bricklink. And we'll play, we'll play a little bit because I, I don't want to have this keyboard in front of me the whole time. So we're going to go to Bricklink and we'll go to, let's see, um, what did I say? Black Falcon? Black Falcons? Black Falcons. Let's see when Lego was producing those Black Falcon sets. Yeah, look at this. Okay, so here we've got some old figures here. Black Falcon's Fortress. Let's just see what this says. Black Falcon's Fortress was released in 1986, so I was pretty close with my guess. Let me swap this. I was pretty close with my guess there that uh, we had Black Falcons in the late 80s. I guess 86 is pretty mid-80s, but it is the latest of the mid-80s, or the earliest of the late 80s. Battering Ram, when did that come out? 1987. Yeah, sweet. I'm so pleased that my guess was right. Knight's Castle. So we had a we had a look at this. The Knight's Castle from Black Falcons only had 390 parts. And I think there was a bigger one. The Black Falcons Fortress had 404 parts. So, you know, kind of what we imagine from the late 80s as a pretty large castle, only 404 parts. Now, from Creator 3 and 1, we are getting one with, uh, with 1,500 parts. I'll go ahead and do this. Not that. I'm going to remove this from the stream. Remove. Boom. We don't need to see that. But now we've got these Black Falcon, Black Falcon guys back, and they are rad. And uh, they're even cooler than they ever were because they've got some leg printing. They have... Um, let's focus. Yeah. They've got some leg printing. They've got like a belt printed on the legs. Their legs and their arms are this sort of like dark, very dark gray, metallic-ish kind of metal looking thing. Martin is here. Martin Ashitaka is here. Ryan's Brick Lab. Ryan's Brick Lab says we, we should call this guy Bob. da 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 says we should call him Henry. Um, Bob Henry... Pieces, pieces were a lot bigger back then. Ashitaka says pieces were a lot bigger back then. Yeah, like the big castle wall pieces. I don't think we we're going to have anything like... Well, a little bit. We just got like some uh, one by four by 3 panels in here. But some of those castle wall pieces back in the 80s were rather large. Yes. Alexander is here. He's saying, hey, hey. If you've just joined us, I'll say it one more time. I am building the Lego Creator 3-in-1 castle. And I got to dive in. I've, been, I've said way too many words. I've said way too many words, and I just need to start building. There's this and this. This looks like it's probably going to be a tree, so I think we are building this is kind of like a... Oh, this is cool. This is like the, the front of the castle here with the moat drawbridge kind of action going on there. We just gonna have a little bit of tree going on outside the castle. And... 
that is going to be super fun. Uh, the set being larger. Yeah, Ashitaka, the set is larger by, by like 1,100 pieces. So perhaps, perhaps some of those pieces are larger, but it's certainly going to take us longer to build than it would that original Black, Black Falcon's Fortress. I don't know what this would be. Is this like a, uh, oh, maybe a toadstool? Like a tiny little toadstool? If it's like just one, one white one by one round and with a red one by one round tile on top of it? Okay, cool. And, ooh, look at this. We're already getting into swiveling bricks. Swiveling bricks. Watch those bricks swivel. You guys are going to get a weird boon this early in the morning. It's going to be awesome. Sea bacon is here. Oh, okay. Brickham's Den says Frank Franklin Van Archer. Yeah, I like that. Um, this guy officially, those other names were good, y'all. Um, but this guy is now officially Franklin Van Archer. There we go. And he's just going to sit over there and watch it over. Chris says, bye, gotta go. Thank you so much for supporting the stream with your super chat, Chris. You are awesome. Chris now supplies gears to M Chalice. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for joining us for a few minutes. You're rad. And let's see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There goes that. Oh, it is. It is like a little mushroom. I said a toadstool, because here's another one. We're going to take this white one-by-one one round brick and put this red dish on top of it, and clearly that's like a little kind of mushroomy thing, and that'll go right there. Oh, man, that is cute. Look at those little details. Look at those little details. Good morning, Dave Morgan. Um, da 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 is that how it is? Da 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 da. That's how I'm gonna say it. Da 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 da. How do you only have thirty thousand subscribers? You should have a million. Well, I don't know. I don't know the answer to that question. Um, I honestly, I feel like part of the reason I probably have, although there are people watching this going like thirty thousand subscribers is a ton. Um, like, how did you get to thirty thousand subscribers? But if you're the question here that I'm talking about is da 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 said, how do you only have 30,000 subscribers? I, you know, I think maybe one contributor to that is that um, I don't post by any predictable schedule. Although, that being said, the weekly live stream Thursday evening is coming back in less than a week. It is almost here. And um, it's got a new logo. It's got a new name. I was just working on the logo last night, and I'm really excited about it. Should be awesome. Um, but other than that, you know, I, I did that Thursday night live stream a number of times in um, in 2020. But other than that, I just kind of post whatever I want whenever I want. So I don't know that my posting schedule is very good for, like, what YouTube wants to show people. So I don't know. We'll see, but thank you very much. Boone, Boone got to 30,000 subs because he's amazing. Uh, young JDR, Young JDR says, Hello, man, big fan of you. Thank you for being here, Young JDR. I've got to keep plugging away. So I hope y'all are having fun. And I feel like that camera keeps going a little bit out of focus. That's a little bit of a bummer. Oh, well, it goes pretty, it goes back pretty fast goes back pretty fast so who out there raise your hand in the chat if you uh if you're up and it's before work and you uh you haven't gone to work yet you got to get ready to go to work Any, anyone out there in that boat and um raise your hand if you got to go to school today and you're just catching the stream a little bit before the school C. Bacon says Boone has fans because he is l because of his legendary beard. Uh, fact, beards get you places. Nice, that's funny. Thank you, C. Bacon. <laughs> it's nice to know it has nothing to do with, you know, I don't know, any kind of uh, <laughs> skill in building or entertainment. It's just the beard. 
<laughs> awesome. Aaron, Aaron is here with the three waves in the live chat. Thank you for joining us, Aaron. You are awesome. Let's see if I put this here. We'll do one of these. 23 likes, 28 watching. Give the stream a like, everyone. Thank you. Da -da 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 -da. And da -da 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 -da. tell me if I'm pronouncing your name wrong. <laughs> Just Tissue comes in and says hi. Hey, Just Tissue. Um, if you are a person who is actually made out of Just Tissue, be careful out there. Uh, you know, strong wind could... Uh, could could make for a bad day. All right. Cool. Mhm. Mm of um of all the creator 3 in 1 sets coming, which are you most excited? So, we've got this. We've got the Holy smokes. Wait a second. Wait a second. What? Where is this piece? Y'all, I have never seen this piece before. This is you are you are here, you are witnessing Boone see a new Lego piece for the very first time. I did not know this was in this set. What the heck is this? This is a two by six tile. Two by six tile in light bluish gray. Ben says, Oh yeah, those are new ish. Thanks for that's Ben Ben Khan throwing shade in the. I'm just kidding. I'm, I know that was not your intention. <laughs> like yeah, Boone, they're new ish. <laughs> Congratulations, Boone. You you've found you've found a newish piece. <laughs> okay, so yeah, Aaron says this one, the castle for sure. Uh, <laughs> Oh, those light bluish gray two by sixes were in the NES, says Sea Bacon. Um, yeah, I just haven't built mine yet. I guess I would have known. I would have known that that existed if I had built my NES, <laughs> but I haven't. But I've got great stories about the NES, just in general, not the Lego set, but like I have, I have, uh, I have somewhat of a spiritual connection to the NES as a entertainment, like a gaming system, just as an artifact that exists in the world. I feel like I should have one more olive one by three. There it is. All right. Okay, so I was trying to say, which creator set are you most excited about? We've got this. We have the, um, the space shuttle, the Ferris wheel, and the fish tank, the alligator, I love the alligator. I feel like the alligator is sort of the um what do you what do you call that? Is it like the alligator is there for like the uh the animal collectors. Um I feel like to me personally the alligator is probably the least exciting. But that's fine because some of the people, some people out there are going to be like, "Holy smokes, look at how rad that alligator is." And they're going to go get it. Okay, so of all of those sets, what do you want the most? Cy O'Connor is here. Cy says, hey, Boone. Hey, Cy. It was great to meet you in a stream the other day. And uh, look forward to talking to you on your stream soon. Oh, I hope I didn't... Cy, you're going to have to tell me if that's a secret or not. Because I have I think I've let it slip twice now. Da -da 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 says, has Lego ever approached... Uh, has Lego ever approached you and asked you to work for them? No, Lego has not approached me and asked me to work for them. I have approached them and asked to work for them over and over and over and over and over and over. I don't even know if I said over enough times. Um, I have applied for Lego jobs many times. And a couple of times that I've been successful were Lego Masters. That was, you know, a temporary, a, um, a, I'll call it a seasonal Lego job. <laughs> Um, and then, uh, uh, I, LAN is not a job, the Lego Ambassador Network. I mean, it is a job, but it's not a paid job. Um, but I was accepted to both of those things. And a lot of people apply to Lego Masters. A lot of people apply to the LAN. 
and not everybody, you know, gets the opportunity to do those things. So I feel blessed and, um, uh, it was a privilege to be able to do both of those. I still am in the LAN. I will always have a wonderful regard for everything Lego Masters. Um, but, uh, but all the other Lego jobs I've applied for, I have not been... I've, man, I think I've been close, too. I, there's, there's a couple times there's a couple times I got very, very, very close, and it, it did not come to pass. Doc Samson, Doc Samson is here. Doc is in the chat saying hi to Cy. Hi, Cy. <laughs> I gotta keep building. I gotta keep building or I'm gonna never get this thing done. We usually have a business meeting at 9 a.m. around here and um, I was kind of hoping to be done by then and I'm sort of thinking that's not gonna happen. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. This is fun. I'm here with you. I'm here with you. We are having fun. We're building. This is the Lego 3-in-1, the brand new Creator 3-in-1 Medieval Castle. And I, I was looking at the name and I was like, does this have like a more interesting name? It's not called a Black Falcon anything, though it does, I, I'd say indisputably, come with Black Falcon printed characters. So... Hey, Seabacon says, fun fact, today is George Lucas's birthday. Seabiscuit, you have my permission to bring fun facts to the stream anytime. Um, we're going to get through this thing by having a bunch of fun facts. VW Bricks, good morning at Boon Builds. Hey, great to see you. Good to see you here today. Thank you for joining us for the LEGO Creator 3-in-1. Um, I had a great thumbnail for this. What, what did you all see... Um, when you when you saw the thumbnail for this because I took an awesome thumbnail and then when I went live it didn't actually ask me to upload the thumbnail so I kind of I kind of feel like maybe I should go over to YouTube at least and um like update the thumbnail all right I'm gonna do that let's see if I go here the channel can I do that and pretend I'm building at the same time I'm gonna go here all right I'll let that load I've missed a bunch of pieces. Oh, no, no, no. They're all right here. Okay. I got to start paying attention because there is so much going on in this one little section here. You, you guys, I think this castle is going to be so cool. I don't, I don't know yet because I'm only this far along on it. But, um, man, I just, I think it's going to be really rad. Let's, uh, do that and that. And we've got, you know, there's pieces that we didn't have in the late 80s for the Black Falcons. Um, yeah, cool. There's this. There's... What is... Oh, yeah, okay. I'm going to edit this video and see if I can put in the cool thumbnail. And then maybe, maybe people who see it from now on will see. And that's going to be Creator Castle. Where is it? Creator Castle. I could write a song while I'm doing this. I could write a song. Are you a creator? Do you want a castle? Build the Creator Castle. Medieval Castle. Do you all remember a Homestar Runner and that, um, that, what was the name of, a uh, Trogdor? Who remembers Trogdor? Trogdor! Maybe I'll sing the whole Trogdor song in just a little minute. Creator C R. Why am I not seeing it? I took the picture. Oh, because it's not there. I went to, um, I think it's in pictures. Camera roll. There it is. And I'll save. So now any, anyone coming to the stream, anyone who gets a notification about the stream after this moment should see the cool picture of me with the Creator Castle on YouTube, hopefully. All right. Thank you for giving me a moment to do that. Uh, I, I have no idea what it would have been otherwise. Tan Jam is here. Tan Jam. Tan Jam says, Hey Boone, Sai, Snowlena, Easy, everybody. Hey, uh, EJS84. Hey, N and E builds. You're all awesome. I'm so glad you're here. Tan Jam, what is the haps, man? You cool over there? You hanging out today? Sounds great. I'm building a castle from Lego Creator 3-in-1. Lego Creator 3-in-1. 
Oh, I'm putting on the drawbridge. You ready? Here it is. Who can hear the music? Should I turn the music up? Should I turn the music down? Let me know if you have any feedback on that. I got some music playing, but I can barely hear it. And if I can barely hear it, then that probably means y'all can't hear it. Um, but maybe you can if you have headphones on. Oh, this is going to look so cool, everybody. Snowlana says, am I the only one here from the other side of the planet who was just about to get into bed when they got a notification that Boone was going live building that awesome set? I Wow. All right. Yeah. John Wayne says, can't hear it. Cheryl says, there's music. How about this? All right. I just, I just turned it up. Let me know. And now that means I get to dance too. I can hear it. It's a bummer if you can't hear it. I could turn it up even more if you want. Um, I did a poll recently. Should I play music during a live stream? And uh, overwhelmingly, it was yes, you should build it. Once Lost But Found, or you should play the music. Once Lost But Found says, I'm purchasing 10, one to keep sealed, and nine to mock away. Mock away! Um, come mock away! Come mock away, come mock away with me. There we go. I, I I think maybe that'll be my new thing too, is to just like make up songs or or like um do like miniature on the fly song parodies based on people's chats. <laughs> Snowlina says no rest for the wicked. Yeah. The very first concert I ever saw. So if you ever hear this in a, uh, if you ever hear this in a future trivia, wink, wink. If you ever hear this in a future trivia, the very first concert I ever saw was Styx and Ario Speedwagon. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Tan Jam. Ten dollars. Tan Jam. Ten dollars. Here's what you get. Mm -hmm. Trogdor. I gotta turn this music down. Trogdor was a man. No. No. Wait. He was a dragon man. Or. Or maybe, maybe he was just a dragon, but he was still Trogdor! Trogdor! <laughs> People are like, tearing the, tearing the uh, <laughs> earbuds out of their, their ears. Burninating the countryside, burninating the peasants. Burninating all the people and the thatched roof cottages! The thatched roof cottages! <laughs> Trogdor! Oh man, Trogdor was so cool. I remember when, this is before YouTube, before YouTube, uh, you know, Homestar Runner was the business. It was like the funny, hilarious videos that we could go watch on the internet. Um, and, uh, they were made in, like, Macromedia Flash, which doesn't even exist anymore. It's now owned by Adobe. And, uh, yeah, it was just this, this standalone website where these dudes just made their own, their own cartoons. And it was, y'all, it was hilarious. Okay, I've been saying y'all a lot this morning. Apparently that's a thing I do early in the morning. Tan Jam, thank you so much for the $10 super chat. You are the best. Tan Jam, you're the best. Your, your 10,000 candles in the wind. How, what is it? 5,000? Um, <laughs> when Leslie Nope, when, uh, what is it? Andy Dwyer's like, are gonna sing a song for little Sebastian. And, uh, Leslie is like, make it like Candle in the Wind, but, 10,000 times better? Is that what she says? And then the song ends up being Bye, bye, little Sebastian. Ba -bow, bow, miss you in the satisfaction. Or satis satisfaction. Bye, bye, little Sebastian. You're 10,000 candles in the wind. I think that's how it goes. Oh, uh, yeah. Tan Jam. You're 10,000 candles in the wind. Uh, I get to this point and I'm like, am I missing a piece? Did I use the wrong piece somewhere? 
I'm trying to find a one by one. And you got, y'all can't see my entire pile here. Otherwise, you might be able to tell me, oh, it's right over by the something. A one by one, which means I probably put it somewhere wrong. It's supposed to be two of those here. Let me just kind of look over what I've done here. There's that. There, that's supposed to go there, so that's right. That's that's light gray. That's that's all right. Why is this happening? I'm pretty sure I can see every piece that is laid out on the on the table here, and I'm not seeing one of those things. Okay. <laughs> Tan Champ says, Trogdor and the little Sebastian tribute in one stream. Is it my birthday? Well, here's the thing, uh, Tan Jam. Typically, I say that I'm really bad with lyrics, but somehow I just stumbled upon two fairly short songs that I actually know all the words to Trogdor and Little Sebastian. Um, man, I'm, I'm missing a piece. I probably, this is almost always user error. It's not very often I actually have like an error in pieces in a Lego set. But I'm going to go grab one because I don't see where... Let me just look toward the end of the thing because maybe something maybe something that's not supposed to be in here snuck into the bag. I doubt that. But I'm going to... I've got a one by one. I've got a sand green one by one right there. And maybe that is not supposed to be in here. Although I bet it is. Oh, it's not a it's not a one by one. It's a one by one with one stud on a side. Okay, I gotta go get a um, under the instructions. VW Brick says under the instructions. No, I don't see it under the instructions. I guess it could still be in one of these bags. I don't see it in the bag. I'm gonna jog on over here. Oh, y'all, watch this. This is gonna be so cool. So, I, I won't be able to hear you, but I can't hear you anyway. But if I go over here, I'm just gonna have to shout. But if I go like this, then um, y'all can see me at my bins here. And I'm, uh, I'm mid reorganization, so I'm not 100% sure I'm gonna find what I'm looking for quickly. There's one. I just found one. Just found one. And uh, now we can get back. Woo! Now we can get back to the build. I just knocked over all of those boxes of Creator 3 in 1 sets. Fazuma is here. Jack Sparrow is here. And I just had to go run and get a piece because I'm, I'm missing a piece. And I probably am not actually missing it. It's probably here somewhere. I just don't have time. I gotta, I gotta keep going on this build, or it's never gonna get done. Kira says, I cannot wait to get this for my boys. Love to see the medieval sets coming back. Thanks for building this today. Absolutely. You are absolutely welcome. Please thank. Let me make sure I'm saying this correctly. I wanna, I wanna be sure I'm thanking the right people for this. I've got the embargo. Yeah, Affilet. So, Adult fan of in Lego, adult fan of Lego engagement team from Lego sent us this. So thank you to the Affilet, one of the groups I'm able to connect to through the Lego Ambassador Network, and uh, it is because of them that I'm able to show this to you today. Once lost but found, I'm in, I'm in most Yankee state of them all, New York. Sweet. Sea Bacon. Oh, another fun fact from Sea Bacon. Sea Bacon says Algebra came from an Arabic book called Al Jeber. Uh, the book came to Europe in the mid centuries. Wow. So that uh, that's a timely fun fact because the this castle, I would guess, is inspired by architecture from around the same time. <laughs> 
Uh, how many minifigures with this build? It looks like three to me. I don't know officially. One, two. Let me see if this says over here. Minifigs. I believe it's three. One, two, three. Yeah, there's three minifigs with this. And there is a knight chest piece. Here, I'll, sh I'll show you that real quick. Tan Jam asked, three minifigs. I'll show you the box. Okay, so there's two torsos that are just like straight up Black Falcon torsos. And then there's one torso that's sort of like this, I don't know, sort of torn up tank top. That almost reminds me of like a pirate torso. There's a minifigure with a gray beard, a minifigure with kind of a reddish goatee, and then a minifigure that appears... Uh, to be, you know, a little bit the way that Lego does more female-ish looking characters. The heads I'm talking about here. Two knight helmets and this kind of moppy haircut. And what you can do is you, if you want three knights, you can actually make this, you can make that third guy into a knight because there is, look at this. There's this, um, look, I don't have to mess with that stuff anymore. I've got to zoom. Um, there's this third you can make a third knight by putting on the sort of breastplate and this other type of knight helmet so if you want three knights you can go that direction if you want this character here to look like a little bit more like uh maybe a little bit more masculine you can put one of those heads on if you want it to look a little bit more feminine you can put that head on so there's a lot of diversity uh not a lot of diversity but a lot of uh What's that word? A lot of versatility. Versatility with the minifigures in this set. OM Darji says, what do you think of Black Falcons? Should they have picked another classic faction? Oh, I, th I don't know. I think, I think Black Falcon is a pretty cool era to kind of hit with this stuff. I think there were more Black Falcons, more Black Falcon sets than some of the other ones of that time. I don't know what what else came around there. I know like a lot of people like Wolfpack, but there were hardly any Wolfpack sets. I think there were like three Wolfpack sets, and and it's crazy how like people remember Wolfpack being like super awesome, um, and there were really only like three sets. I think uh, then there were some. I don't know what would have been like earlier '80s. But, um, yeah, anyway, I think Black Falcons is fine. I don't have a problem with it. I think their sigil or their seal crest is pretty cool. Ooh, I get to make a little tree. Look at it. There it is. I'll show you the instructions. Making a little tree. Hee, 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 hee. I'm making a little tree. Hee, 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 hee. Making a little tree. <laughs> I'm telling you, I get up at 6 a.m. I get up at 5.30 to try to do a 6 a.m. stream, and I didn't actually go live until like 10 after 6, I think. And uh, I am going to be loopy. I'm going to be loopy. Fazoom says, creator likes to use current production pieces so the Black Falcon torsos were available. Yeah, but why? The Black Falcon torsos were available in the, um, what was it, the the blacksmith? So if, if that's the case, then the question becomes, why did they choose Black Falcons for the blacksmith? Um, or was it, was it something else that brought the Black Falcons back around? Tanjam says, my one complaint with the three one sets is brick-built animals. They're just not good. Okay. Um, I don't have, like, a strong opinion on that. Uh, but I guess I can see where you're coming from, where, like, more traditionally it would be a... Uh, you know, like the goats. We've got the goats. we get horses. Goats, horses. Um cows other cool animals like that that come through some you know 
the the kind of minifigure style animals. All right. Mm hmm. And Blue says, the tree is superior. Bow before the little tree. Okay, cool. Come for the building. Stay for the singing. Aw, thank you, Snowlena. Stay awake for the singing, right? Is that in your case? Here we go. This is, this is interesting how it's like now I'm sort of looking at the castle from the inside and building. I think one of the one of the I was talking a little bit earlier in the stream about the those large pieces, those large panel castle pieces from the eighties. And I think that's gonna be one of the most compelling things about this set is the fact that you you build the whole thing. This is contemporary creator. So it's gonna be a little bit different than building a castle in the eighties. And and I think I mostly mean like better. So we'll see. The turtles on the surf shop were good too, says Tan Jam. Turtles on the surf shop. Turtle power. Blue, I'm currently playing Animal Crossing while watching. Hee <laughs> hee. That's fine. Do you. You do you. Animal Crossing. I've never played Animal Crossing. What do you think of it? Uh, I play like three games on my phone and that's pretty much the only games I play. I play this game called Stop, which is like categories and Danny and I play that and I play against like, oh, I play against my nephew and I play against my sister-in-law sometimes, but that's pretty much it. I pretty much like, I play Stop against Danny and it's the kind of thing where you play, it's like a categories category sort of thing. And, um, like you just play whenever you want and it like saves your round. And then when the other, when your opponent is ready, whenever they feel like playing a game for a little while, it puts them, it drops them into the round that you already played and times them with the same categories and the same letter. And then, uh, after both have played, it gives you, you know, an update on who won who did it the fastest, who had the most best answers, which kind of blows me away that there's a database out there somewhere with like all of the like viable answers for any particular category in any letter of the alphabet. Mr. Lego says, hello. Blue says, stop sounds very descriptive. I would definitely buy. If I just heard the name, I'd be so confused. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Alex says, I just got my Lego bonsai tree today. My Lego bouquet should be here today as well. All right. Sounds awesome. Sounds awesome. That's awesome. Fazoom, what are you up to today, man? Uh, Card Collector says, hey, Boone, does this set have numbered bags? Yes, Card Collector. This set certainly does have numbered bags. I'm on bag number one. There are seven numbered bags. I believe there are two number one bags and there are two number four bags. And that is is all. Oh, this is very interesting. Okay. I just I've just discovered that with my new setup, with my new camera setup, I I don't really have a way to show this to you from the front. You're going to kind of see it from the top the whole time. I need to come up with one more little camera option just to like show like right here. That's all right. Sea bacon back with another fun fact. A uh, half fact. The Windy City Chicago got its name not just by the wind, but also because the residents in it are windbags and can't stop talking? What? Is that true? Half fact. No. That's silly. But thank you. I hope nobody here from Chicago is offended by that. And the people from Chicago are like, oh no, yeah, that's totally true. <laughs> All right. 
What am I missing? That all looks good. Over here on this page. I don't know where to put this stuff. People are like, Boone, you're supposed to be a Lego master. Yeah, well, try uh, following instructions when you're half asleep. That was a half fact, and I am half asleep. Plagued. Plagued Brick Films. Plagued Brick Films. I've never seen this set before. It's brand new. This set was literally just announced. If you had seen this set before now, it would have been a leak. Because the embargo just lifted. Just lifted this morning. Oh, there's one of those. Easy Craftsman. If it's true, they're not going to stop talking about it then. Yeah. Card Collector. Can't wait for June 1st. Been saving money. Card Collector, you've been saving money specifically for this set, or you've been saving money for other stuff? What are you what are you gonna what are you gonna connect your life with in June on June first? I'm gonna guess you're talking about the uh, castle here. Look at how cool this kind of corner is. And with only a few pieces. There I mean there aren't very many there's not a great variety of pieces represented there. It's like the Two by two by three slope, one by two by three slope, um, a couple of two by two by one slopes, and some two by two bricks. Like this whole corner is made. How many pieces did I just list? Like four. This whole corner is made out of four. And then there's some there's some other pieces on the inside. The one by two by two brick. So this whole corner is kind of like this earthy looking thing, and they achieved it with only four or five different types of pieces. Car Collector says, for other stuff and the castle. Yeah, Yeet Life YouTube. Boone, you should have won LEGO Masters. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You are alone in that opinion. I'm, I'm totally kidding. Um, that tends to be one of the more common things I hear from people who are connecting with me. Uh, a lot of times, like if someone's connecting with me for the first time, they'll be like, Boone. Should have won Lego Masters. I don't have I don't have strong opinions about that. You know, we regarded Amy and Tyler as like the team that we uh, would like from some previous episodes. We were like they're the team that we think could beat us. I don't I don't have a really strong opinion on like should have or uh, I would I wish we would have. That's certainly an opinion I have, but. Anyway, I digress. Yeet Life says, Yay, I got acknowledged. Yeah, man. Or person? Bum, 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 bum. Blue. I gotta go. This was great, though. Thank you, Blue. Thanks for checking it out. It reminds me of, uh, what's the, what's the, you're my boy, Blue. Is that, uh, old school? Eat life with a smiley face. Snowlana says, I need to figure out how to watch Lego Masters here, Lego Masters USA here in Australia. Yeah, it's just as difficult for us to watch Australia here in the USA. Um, and I've heard the most recent season of Australia is awesome. So, yeah, I'd love to watch it too. <laughs> Easy Craftsman says, Snowlana, I would try the internet first. Or maybe book a flight over. <laughs> All right. Ooh, cool. Look at this. Uh, this Lego is so cool. I don't. I don't know if you guys knew, but Lego's pretty cool. The way that. Uh, so we've got like some second floors here. So if you turn this around, you look on the inside. We've got some areas kind of down here on like the dirt floor. And then up here, we've already got some floors in for, like, a second floor. Brickman Mosaics Art says, Boone Builds. Sorry I'm late. Hey, no problem. This was a really early stream for me in my time zone. Late in some other people's time zones. What did I miss? What did I miss? Oh, here. This goes here. Hey, I'm already at the end of bag one. I didn't realize. Oh, and I've already been streaming for almost an hour. That's That's not good timing. 
I was excited when I was like, oh, I'm already done with bag one. And then I'm like, oh, darn, it took me an hour to get to bag one. Where should that go? I've got an extra one by two slope, and I don't think that should be an extra piece. But maybe it is. I don't think there actually are any of that piece in this set. I think I think this is an extra piece. Maybe it was uh, was it possible that it was already sitting on my table? No. No, couldn't be. Oh, I see it. I see where it's supposed to be. Oh my goodness. That was the missing piece. I was supposed to use this um I got to I got to break this real quick. I was supposed to use this one by two slope and instead I used the one by one brick and that's what I had to go over to my brick supply and and find another one because I was like you guys this isn't here see I tell you it's almost always user error I've never actually had a piece missing I've had pieces malformed and I've called Lego all right I found it okay so here we go keep moving on we're just about to bag two bag two do 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 bag two. Oh, that's a good that's a good thing too. I should have a little song for each new bag. Do 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 bag two. Ryan O'Donnell, you build like me. Get the last bag and realize I missed a step. Haha, -ha, yeah. Yeah, I'll tell ya. That's exactly right. Someone following someone else's design. I almost never make a mistake when I'm building a mock. <laughs> but building sets, yeah, it's easy. And especially when I'm, you know, trying to enjoy the build. I'm trying to talk to y'all. King Tut is here. And, excuse me. All right. It's not COVID. I promise. But, uh, it's, man, it's really easy for me to miss a piece Zoom out just a little bit because we're going to start getting a little too big for the screen there. Everyday Vlog says, does it come with minifigs? Yes, it does come with minifigures. There's one right here. And there are two more coming. King Tut says, bless you. Thank you very much, King Tut. King Tut. All right. Snowlena. I hear upstate New York is nice this time of year. Oh, they're talking to Easy Craftsman. Easy Craftsman, Snow Lane is talking to you. There goes that. All right. So this is pretty cool. Let's um let's take a look at the section that we're gonna build next. Right there. So a little bit of the um the gatehouse up there above the gate. A little bit of the second story of this front part of the castle. Okay? That's where we're headed. That is where we are headed in the next little while. We're going to build bag number two starting right now. Car Collector says, I'm building the haunted house right now. Sweet. The new one, the haunted house that's available right now. Is it still available? It must be. It's only been out a year. Building the haunted house right now while I watch one of my favorite. Oh, Card Collector. That's so sweet. Y'all, it must be dusty in here. I must be there must be some kind of dust bothering my nose in here. Cause that's the first two times I've sneezed in like probably the last four days. Okay. There's that. Darn it, that's gonna give me the sniffles. Y'all don't want to hear that. Oh well. I should have like a humidifier out here. That would be great. That would really that would really take my stream game to the next level. Hey everybody, welcome to Boone Builds. Let me turn on my humidifier so I don't sneeze. Welcome to Okay, here's a fun game. Let's come up with um let's come up with the most ridiculous um like Lego live stream names. Put them in the chat and I'll I'll read them in a voice that is appropriate. So lay Ridiculous names for a Lego live stream. Go. There aren't two bags too, are there? Oh, I don't think so. 
Oh, I already put it on. I'm looking for pieces that I've already put on. It's early in the morning. I don't want to be sniffling. This game sounds dangerous. Lego under my feet. Ow! <laughs> hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Lego under my feet. Ow! <laughs> and every time they say Lego under my feet, there's like this sound bite that goes, Ow! <laughs> like someone just stepped on, <laughs> on Lego. Good afternoon, Boom Builds. Greeting from the Netherlands. Thank you very much, Axel. Axel, appreciate it. Watching this at work and actually laughed out loud. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, tell your boss it's um, research. Fazoom said, Stuck, Stud McBrickley's Manly Man Show. <laughs> hey, everybody, I'm Stud McBrickley, and welcome to the Manly Man Show. <laughs> All the voices are going to be the same. Expanding my ego by growing my clone army. Yeah, awesome. Uh, <laughs> Lego Legends. Yeet Life. Lego Legends. Welcome to the League of Lego Legends. <laughs> Long ago. This is actually not a, not a bad set for the League of Lego Legends. Long ago in a, in a barren land. Long ago in a barren land, only one had the power to thwart the, the realm. <laughs> thwart, thwart evil and save the realm. <laughs> Look what my mom bought me. <laughs> Look what my mom bought me. Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. It's Dirk here. Look what my mom bought me. Welcome to, welcome to Look What My Mom Bought Me. An awful a full extravaganza. Well, that's like, hey, every, hey everybody, welcome to awful a full extravaganza. <laughs> like NB, NPR. Hey, hey, everybody, we're building a castle on awful a full extravaganza. Oh, it's so, man, this is a really good set. <laughs> oh, I'm not going to get anything done. I'm not going to get anything done here. <laughs> bricks, bricks everywhere, like the meme. Bricks, bricks everywhere. I've only apparently I've only got two voices this morning. There's this one, and there's this one. <laughs> oh, castle! Yeah, I'm building a castle. A ba bacadere bat, bacadere bat. I'm building a castle. Here it is. Hopefully, you saw. Did, Am I saying that right, Bacadera Bat? Did you see a cool thumbnail? Or did you see like a weird thumbnail of my build table with like just a bunch of pieces? That's what I'm curious about knowing. Uh, Yeet Life, it's like Two-Face. Brickman Mosaics Art says the castle is coming along. That sounds to me, Brickman Mosaics Art, like you left for a while and just came back. Is that true? Am I right? Or is that is that your subtle way of saying like Boone, you have to keep building, stop doing weird voices? All right, here we go. I have a feeling this is gonna be cool. All right, I'm turning the page. Turning the page. Drop test alley. Everybody, welcome back. Welcome back to Drop Test Alley. Oh, maybe that would be like a... Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Drop Test Alley. Ba -ba We're going to drop test the uh, Millennium Falcon today. See what it looks like. See how many pieces it shatters into. Get ready for the drop test. I'm just saying it's coming along because I'm playing Lego games on my Xbox. Oh, great. Awesome. Brickham's Den playing some Lego games on the Xbox. Xbox. Stepping on Lego swords. Aw, oh, man. Aw, oh, man. Stepping on Lego swords. Hmm. There's supposed to be a cheese, a cheese slope right here, and I forgot it in the previous step. Luckily, I had my spare pieces right there. Oh, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. The the vines. The vines were supposed to go in in the last step, and I missed those too. So check this out. We've got a brown vine, 
that goes down this side. Oh, that looks even cooler. I was raving about that corner and how cool it looked before with so with such a small variety of pieces. And now it's going to look even more amazing with these vines. Vines, they make everything look more natural. <laughs> Bricks kid, Bricks kid. A uh, bunch of letters. L-M-A-O. Who else played Skylanders on the Xbox 360? That's Yeet Life. Who else played Skylanders? I don't, I don't rightly know. Okay. Building a way. Come build a way. Come build a way. Come build a way with me. Come build a way. Come build a way. Come build a way with me. All right. Bricks Kid. Bricks, Bricks Kid is the only person in the chat. What's going on with the chat? Um, I don't see anyone else chatting right now. Okay. Card Collector. Hey, Boone, are you going to get the Friends Apartment set? I, probably. I, I would like to get that set. I used, Here's the thing. I used to be a huge Friends fan. And I, I'm just like... The strange thing is like it's like Lego decided to release Friends sets at the exact same time that I sort of just in life got to the point where I'm kind of over friends. Um, and not, it's not, it's not bad. It's not like I don't want to watch it. It's just, uh, like we watched it. I've probably seen every episode of friends 20 times. I have, I have definitely seen There's 10 seasons and that's back when TV shows had like 22 or 23 or 24 episodes per season. I've seen every episode of Friends, and I kid you not, I've probably seen every episode of Friends at least 10 times, and many of them 20 times. Um, so I think I just, I got to the point in my life where I've like seen Friends too much, and now I'm ready f to be excited about other shows. So the Lego sets kind of landed just at the wrong time for me. Um, I do have the Central Perk set. I did build it. I did enjoy it. Um, I might like to get Monica's apartment. I don't know. Um, Mimi God, M-E-M-E -E God says, Hey Boone, have you seen the new leaked Marvel sets? I saw a picture of one. I saw a picture of one of those sets yesterday, I think. Um, which, and I don't, people were getting so like, oh, it's like, the, there was this one leaked image came out and then another image came out of it like sitting at a lego store and people were like oh it's photoshopped they took the one crummy photo that was leaked and they put it on another crummy photo and i'm like why do people care um anyway i don't show leaks here on boon builds um i don't know i'm just not really into it i wasn't into it before joining the Lego Ambassador Network, and now that I'm part of the Lego Ambassador Network, it's it's kind of a faux pas. It's discouraged, or it might be against the rules. It's either discouraged, or it's against the rules, which that is sort of like, that's a friend's reference. You mean it just wasn't, you mean it's not just frowned upon? Oh, you're going to get fired. You mean it's not just frowned upon? All right, <clears throat> the end game final battle. I haven't seen that one. BW Bricks, oops, are you doing the build in one session? I think so, I, I don't know. I guess if I get three hours in and I'm still on bag like four, then I'll probably have to take a break to do uh, some other business this morning. But, um, but I don't know, maybe I, I would like to think that I just need to, I need to build faster. I, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, that was because he was dating a student. Yeah. He was in college. He was a college professor and he was dating a student and he was like, oh, it's not, it's not, fr that's not just frowned upon. They're like, no, that is against the rules. You're going to be fired. 
Yeet Life says, sit tight, guys. Like, like you're going to leave and come back? Oh, I have a meeting, so I'll pause this and catch up later. Hey, thank you, VW Bricks. It's great to see you here, buddy. And uh, look forward to seeing, uh, seeing what you're building these days. All right. All right. Yeet Life, no. Oh, sit tight. Like, it's going to take me a few hours to finish this build. I felt so much like Brixy just then. I feel like when I'm in when I'm watching Brixie's streams and I'll like say something and he'll completely misunderstand what I meant because it, like it's so hard to know like context and tone and all that in the in the chat. And then I come back and like explain no, I actually meant and then he's like, "Oh yeah." But Yeet Life, maybe I still don't know what you're talking about. Easy Craftsman, any other TV shows that you've moved on from that Lego should make sets of now? Yeah. Um, well, we did actually just watch. It, we recently watched Seinfeld for the f like all the way through for the first time, and that one's uh, older. It the ver the first season especially does not. It looks very old. Um, I wouldn't say it doesn't hold up. It's still funny. There are some, I don't know, I think there are some, like, borderline racist, borderline misogynistic, misogynistic stuff that wouldn't quite fly today if it were a brand new show. But, um, but not, I, I wouldn't say, and I, obviously this comes from a privileged place, but I, uh, I wouldn't say it was, like, overbearing to go back and watch Seinfeld, but still just as funny. I would say it's still just as hilarious. Um, but anyway. Card Collector says, I would love to see Family Guy sets. I know it will never happen because of the content. I I would tend to, to agree with that. I would think we probably won't be seeing Family Guy. Here's a nice little window assembly. I'll show you this a little bit closer up as I build it. Um, and you can see the chains chains keep us together here's a little a little behind the scenes information if you didn't know if you haven't heard this already every day when mark and i were like getting ready we were trying to pump ourselves up to build on lego masters we would turn on fleetwood max um the chain and we would like dance in the parking lot. So just imagine Mark and me dancing in the parking lot to uh, Fleetwood Mac. You've got a little, there. there's your little daily dose of behind the scenes from uh, Lego Masters. Oh, this is going to be so cool. I'm so excited about this. So the first castle I built in many, 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 many years was my Coliseum alternate model right there. And I, I kind of learned a lot of the names of castles. So the piece that's right over the gate is called the gatehouse. And sometimes the gatehouse is separate from the castle, and sometimes it's like right up on top of the gate. And this castle that I'm building here, Creative 3 and one medieval castle this has a gatehouse that is right over the gate so pretty cool and i'm excited about how this is all coming together i like the shape of this so far i think it's interesting you know it's like they took an old you know they took an old lego idea this Black Falcon's castle kind of thing. This still has that sort of classic Lego castle, like clamshell kind of like, here's the castle and it sort of opens up so it can like close or like open up. And um, they brought that back with this castle, but just sort of the, de the details on it are just gonna be way better than they were in the 80s. At least it seems that way to me. I really do wish I had a way to 
show just a little bit more of the front of this while I'm building. I don't know that I don't know that straight top down is necessarily the best the best angle for a lot for some builds at least. Elbasunu, hey hey everyone. King Tut, is there any footage of you dancing in the parking lot? I don't think so. I doubt there is any footage of us dancing in the parking lot. Maybe the next time, um, the next time I see Mark, we'll 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 reenact it. We'll find a parking lot and we'll do a reenactment of that. Although I won't be able to show it on YouTube because it'll have the Fleetwood Mac copyrighted music. So I'll probably have to uh, like find a song that kind of sounds like it, or we'll just do it and we won't monetize it and hope that we don't get flagged. Or I'll put it somewhere else. I'll put it on... I don't know where else I would put it. I'll put it on TikTok. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't have a TikTok, but I've, I've been thinking about it lately. I feel so old to be talking about TikTok. But there's all kinds of people on there. There's all kinds of people on there. Richard. Richard is with us. He says, good morning. Good morning, Richard. Thanks for... Thanks for popping into the stream. Oh, Easy Craftsman says the angle makes it feel like I'm building right now. Strap on the VR headset. Okay, I guess I can kind of see that. It's just a little bit unfortunate that like as this thing gets bigger and bigger, I'm not really going to be able to show you some of like the details that you would see around here. I'll just keep picking it up and kind of showing. But here it's night. I said consummate Vs. You wouldn't know majesty if it bit you in the face. Tan Jam coming back with some uh, classic Homestar Runner quotes. Consummate Vs. Uh, oh, M. Sincerely, M. W what does that stand for? M, like, like Emerson, or Embrodak, or M. Tarkander Runders Gunderson. <laughs> that was one of my favorite lines of all of all Homestar Runner, or one that I pull out like very frequently is, um, I would do it. Like Danny will ask me to do something. She'll be like, oh, hey, can you, um, you know, I don't know, whatever. Uh, can you take out the garbage? Uh, and I'll say, I will do it. I will do it nine times. And then I'll go, meow, 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 meow. And then I'll, I'll wait. And, I'll, and then, and then a little while later I'll go, meow. I was saving that one for like three seconds ago. <laughs> <laughs> old old homestar runner uh cowboy cornado says boon before breakfast what yeah yeah uh, buckadere bat says i haven't had breakfast yeah this is boon before breakfast and i haven't had breakfast and i'm i'm gonna start feeling it this is still i am still building before i would typically wake up or uh, I'm usually awake by now, but I'm not usually out of bed by now because I, I tend to work a lot. I tend to do a lot of my work. Like what, if I'm building and I'm working on a build, I usually do that late, late at night. So we just kind of have this understanding that most of my work gets done late at night. So I tend to stay in bed a little bit later into the morning. Uh, and... And that, and that tends to work for us around here. But this morning, I wanted to get on this early. I wanted to basically start streaming as early as I was allowed to, given the uh, timing of the announcement of this set. And that was like 6 a.m. my time. So, oh my goodness, it's almost already... It's almost already 7.27. I don't know how people do this. I don't build on stream very often because I build so slow when I'm building on stream. But I want to do this if uh, if it's interesting for y'all to watch. So please let me know. If you like watching this, I'll do more of these. I'm just going to have to start setting realistic expectations. Uh, Mimi God says, hey, got to go. Happy building, Boone. Thank you very much. Thanks for being here. I'm just going to have to have real ex realistic expectations for myself of like how long it's going to take me to build these and how many sessions I might need if I'm going to um, if I'm going to actually build entire sets on stream. But 
I don't know. Anyway, so Elena says it is uh, 27 minutes after midnight. Well, thank you for still being here. Please, Snowlena, please feel free to go to bed when you need to, but thank you so much for being here for as long as you're interested. Yeet Life says, right, guys. Your show is interesting no matter what you're doing. Oh, once lost but found. Your show is interesting no matter what you're doing. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. I hope that's the case. Uh, Darth192 says, I'm from Estacada, Oregon. That's not too far from... It's not too far from me. I'm trying to think about it. when was the last time I drove through Estacada. Uh, Sashmeet Reviews S3 says, I am in Bangalore. Uh, it's a hub of India. Okay. Cool. Well, thank you for watching. Expanding the YouTube viewership map. That's awesome. I hope you enjoy this set. Hope you enjoy watching this. King Tut. If you stop doing these streams, you'll remove all happiness from this world. Okay, awesome. Cool. So Elena says, very excited about this set. Oh, so that you're going to keep watching because you're very excited about the set. Ooh, we, I think we're about to work on like a mechanism. Maybe a mechanism for raising the drawbridge here. So we've got a that thing and that thing. I really need to adjust my table here because uh, my back doesn't feel great when I do these streams. And I think it's because I'm leaning too far over the table. But there's a problem with some boards that are being stored down under my table. And they don't actually let me scoot in as far as I think I might like to. And I'm sure nobody cares about any of that. But the point is, if I... If I changed that so it, you know, just worked better for, like, my ergonomical situation, then I could probably stream longer without my back hurting. But it is what it is. Whatever. Bretsky. Bretsky, the castle I'm jealous. Good morning, everyone. Welcome, Bretsky. Bretsky on the stream. It's a dream stream when Bretsky and Tan Jam and Yeet Life and Snow Lena and Brick Man Mosaic Arts are here. Sea Bacon. Sea Bacon. Oh, I I thought it was Sea Bacon, like like sea cucumber, but like sea bacon, but it's just sea. Like I see bacon, I eat bacon. Um, this whole time, I thought it was S-E-A, bacon. Okay, look at this. We're about to put in the drawbridge actuator. I think, I think that's what we got going on here. Those chains don't actually look that long, but maybe they are. Maybe they are. Okay, so there's that. Is that it? Now what? Oh, now we put the chains on. Ooh, y'all get to be here for putting the chains on chains oh those are nice long chains cool keep us together running in the shadow i just changed keys didn't mean to do that oh this is gonna be cool i think it's gonna be cool i don't know what is going to like activate this chain reel but whatever it is, I think it's going to be great. It'll probably end up being, because of this gear here, whatever you use to adjust the castle drawbridge, it's probably going to be like a knob up on top or something like that. Okay. Moving on. All right, we're already, we're putting in the third, the floors of the third floor. <clears throat> there's this. There's that. Bretsky says, thanks for the mu musical greeting, Boone. LOL. I've never heard, I've never even heard of a tambour box, but now I want to build one. What is that? Did you see JK Brick's tambour box video? No. Is it awesome? Oh, okay. This is not quite as cool as I thought it was going to be, but it's okay. It's um, this kind of like wheel thing 
goes into a long Technic axle, and then it goes into the side here. So the side of the, oh, that's still pretty cool how it's gonna work, look at this. So here we go, so now I can turn this lever on the side of the castle, and it raises up the drawbridge. Stay out, stay out, you foes. Let's see, will it, will it stay up on its own? No, it doesn't stay up on its own, so there must be something that comes later that can lock that into place. If I go the other way, uh, it kind of gets bound up if I go the other way. So, like this. Cool, cool, cool. I'm excited about that. I guess it's like a drawer you pull out and also reveals a top drawer with a sliding panel. Okay, cool. The tambor box. I look forward to seeing that. Ooh, look at this. Black Falcon shield element. This is cool. Black Falcons. They flutter through the dark. To save the to save the realm. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> How about right there? That looks pretty good. Black Falcons, this is going to go, this like shield is going to go right into the front of the gatehouse on the castle here. Brick Wes, do you have a big Lego Star Wars collection? Are you talking to me, Brick Wes? Um, I only collect Boba Fett's ship, the Slave One. Uh, other than that, I do not really have much of a Star Wars collection to speak of. Oh, this is cool. So we're about to put on some bricks that are going to hide the area where these chains go in. So it's going to look real slick. Okay. Oh, that's going to be so cool. Who said, uh, uh, Rivali says, did you know they're doing a season two of Lego Masters? What? Yeah, sorry, I knew. Yeah, I knew. I actually, I knew, I, I was aware of the casting process. I remember when they, when they were really getting going with the casting process for season two, I was sort of aware of that process. Oh, okay, Yeet Life is right. I do have the first Lego, I do have the very first Lego X-Wing. Um, and I believe I believe two X-Wings were released that year. There was sort of a normal minifig scale X-Wing, and then there was a, um, <clears throat> there was a, like a big UCS X-Wing. Very, it was the, the, ver the first UCS set ever was an X-Wing, and I'm pretty sure it came out that very first year. I could be wrong about that. It may have been the next year, but it was very early. The UCS was very early, UCS X-Wing was very early in the history of Lego Star Wars. But, um, so yeah, I do have that, and you can see it if I swap here, you can see that X-Wing is hanging right there, and the box is right behind it. Um, so thanks, Yeet Life. Yeet Life YT. Uh, I, I do have that. <clears throat> But other than that, it's pretty much Boba Fett stuff. I, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think I have eight different copies of the Slave One. And I have the Boba Fett helmet and I have the Boba Fett construction figure. And I have the X-Wing. I think those are all of my Lego sets. I, I uh, Star Wars sets. I think those are all of my Lego Star Wars sets. You know, I do have another couple over here, but um, those are not sets that I'm necessarily going to keep. I might give them away or I might trade them to a friend or something like that. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Corona lockdown in India, huh? Sorry to hear that. Yeah, we... I wonder... We're sort of... We're not on lockdown. We were sort of on like... N some non-essential business closures in the last two weeks, but they've op reopened a little bit of that. All right. There's that and that. The gatehouse is 
just just got locked into the side parts of the towers here. I think that I love the yellow on this. Look at how cool this is going to look. That looks nice. It looks nice. Um, Snowlena, it looks like they're talking about... Da, da, da. Awesome Snowlena. Yeah, I didn't mean today. I don't know what y'all are talking about. Something about the release of this set, maybe, or some other set. Um, Bacadera Bat says, I'm saving up to get the second part of the Beatles Lego art set. I already have Ringo. Oh, cool. Yeah, I would love that. I would actually love to get that Beatles art set and um, like make some other people out of it. I think that could be pretty cool. Oh, okay. So I just found the lever. I'm just about to build the lever. This is a pretty um, brilliant way to build this. But I just discovered where I'm going to build the lever that locks the door in. So this goes like this. And then it gets a little axle here. Now this is going to be like a lever. And I'll, I'll zoom in and show you real quick here. So you can see there's this gear. So that's what the gear is for. The gear is like the lock. So without this lever that I'm about to put on, the door just goes up and like slides back down. Like there's nothing keeping it from... Actually, now now that those other pieces are on, it's a little bit easier to stay up. But but you see, it doesn't stay all the way up, and it can just like fall down. But with this little lever, oh, this is just so simple and brilliant. This piece right here has just enough of a little tooth on it to get caught in that gear. So when you Oh, and it keeps you from, so you remember how I said like it would, it would bind up if you went the wrong way, that lock actually keeps you from turning it the wrong way. And then when you turn it up, each one of those teeth just kind of grabs onto that thing. You can kind of, if I turn it this way, you can sort of see it like going up and down, see that little lever like going up and down. And each time it goes up and down, it locks into a new tooth on the deal, on the, on the gear. And now the gate is locked into place. And if you want it to come down, you just lift that up and, and it can come down. It seems like, seems like there's still some opportunity for like things to get bound up in here. So now my gate won't come down and I don't know why. Cause, uh, cause the thing kind of came over to the wrong side. Maybe, maybe there'll be something else in here that'll sort of prevent that from happening. Perhaps I just haven't built that yet. Okay. So there's all that. Now this is going to go here. Wait. Huh. Oh, oh, okay. I see. I see what I've done wrong. Not, I haven't done anything wrong. I just was looking at the instructions wrong. I thought there was another yellow one by one. Is this the castle where all the a hide from the Duplo fans? What? I don't know. That sounds funny. Are there a lot of Duplo fans out there? I love Duplo, but I don't know if there's any like... Oh, oh, you mean the kids? Little kids that play with Duplo? Like at the end of a uh, Lego movie? Where the Duplo, the little girl's Duplo pieces come to like destroy everything <laughs> okay we're using a droid arm here that's pretty cool yeah that can look like some sort of medieval piece of uh forged steel forged forged steel that would be another another good one forged in brick i know there's like brick forge but forged in brick Welcome to the Forged in Brick podcast. <laughs> oh, is this one of the disliked? Who said disliked? Someone disliked the stream. Hey, look, if they don't like the stream, they can click dislike. And then get out of here. <laughs> 
Everyone's welcome to their own opinion. Um, okay. It's not really clear to me how this is supposed to go. Like, the one on this side like won't go all the way down because of that piece. Or maybe... Oh, because I have them in the wrong place. Okay, so you're supposed to put these on the very outside spot. And then that sort of like dictates how far that will go down. And then this one is the same way. And it goes over here and it runs into that. Oh, perfect. Okay, so that's exactly right. It seemed like it was too close to the chains anyway. Kind of put the flames like that. And now I'm officially too close. So we'll back off just a little bit there. All right, I think that's pretty much it. Oh, except I've got this one. Tan Jam says, digging the chain drawbridge. Glad they didn't try to make another winch string one like the classic castle. Yeah. Okay. I guess I am too. The chains, I, I think the chains look so good. Is that what you mean? Like you're glad they didn't do that? Because, was there a problem with how it worked or just this looks better because yes i agree this looks way better we have reached the end of bag two and this is our castle so far pretty cool okay three we get a new minifig bag three 744 am i gonna be done with this by nine i'm gonna try to build a little bit faster here i've said that over and over again tanjam looks better and i don't like trying i don't like tying the strings yeah yeah, I can get that. I can get on board with your opinion there, Tanjam. Dee 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 dee, bag three. See? <laughs> that arm piece would be good for medieval shackles, too. Yeah, the arm piece. Okay, yeah. Medieval shackles, I can see that. Um, But like on, on the... Sorry, the early wake up is catching up to me. I'm yawning. I'm going to try to stop doing that. I don't want you all to catch my yawn. Plague Bricks Film says, I'll take stickers over strings. Okay. Easy Craftsman says, Tangium, I don't miss tying the strings either. Yeah. Tying the knot on the old string set was never fun for me either. That's interesting. That's interesting to hear so many from you, uh, from so many of you that you didn't like tying those strings because that never bothered me. But if it bothered so many of you, then I feel for you. I'm sorry that was a thing that Lego didn't make very easy for some. Uh, okay, we got a new minifig. And this torso, to me, looks exactly the same. I think these... Legs look exactly the same. Man, I'll tell you what. Castle people are going to be buying these up to build their armies. Oh, we get a shield. We get another shield. So here's a loose shield that they can actually use. The shield from the last bag went into the gatehouse. So it's like part of the decoration on the front of the castle. And this knight also gets a spear. But I don't see the spear. There it is. Found it over here. The spear was over here. So I'll take a second and show you what we got with this character. So this is... Um, the minifigure from bag three. And you can see that it's got, it's got a face there. This is what I would describe as what Lego uses for kind of a more feminine face. And um, you can choose whoever you want to put that head on. So now we got two minifigures in this build so far. And um, I'm building a bunch of columns. So these columns should be easy. So I'm going to see if I can read a couple things from the chat while I build these columns. It's just a one by one brick with four one by one bricks stacked on top of it. 
Bretsky says, loved the new strings on Barracuda Bay. Oh, absolutely. If you didn't like, those strings are great because they're like 32, I think they're like 32 long and they have studs at the end. Um, so those are pretty great. But it let go. The strings never bothered. The strings never bothered me anyway. Boom, 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 boom. Ryan Lyon says, hey, Boone, I love your channel and videos. Do you have a suggestion for a set that has the most fun building experience? Oh, I don't know. This one's been pretty good so far. Um, I really... Oh, Pirates of Barracuda Bay is awesome. Um, give me like a price range because then I can know sort of where to direct you. Um, but yeah, thanks for, thanks for joining us and thanks for watching. Brick Mo Brickman Mosaics Art says, I'm back. I was watching Kevin Hinkle and just Jeff draw Star Wars. Cool. Well, I hope that was good. Oh, did they finish? Or are they still going? Uh, Elbasunu says the Saturn V is my favorite build. I've heard the Saturn V is awesome. I have yet to build it. I have it here. It's just one of those sets that it's just kind of perpetually in my backlog. Cut your hair a bit, Boone. Are you telling me to cut my hair a bit, or do you think I have cut my hair a bit? Tiago is here. Cool stuff. Yeah, Tiago, I think this is going to be a rad castle, man. Tiago, thanks for uh, thanks for popping in the live, the live chat there. Everybody, Tiago Caterino. If you're watching me, you've probably already subscribed to him. Tiago's channel has grown like wildflower, wildfire. Snowlena says Saturn V is my all-time favorite as well. Bretsky says hi to Tiago. Uh, Beta Brick, hello, just popping in for a few minutes. Cool, Beta Brick. Thanks for being with us. Thank you for being here. Thanks for being here, Beta Brick. So I'm so stoked. I'm so stoked that Beta Brick is watching. <laughs> All right. If you're watching in the chat, please tell me um what is your favorite build from a build experience? From a build experience standpoint, what's your favorite build? What 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 Lego set did you just have so much fun building that you're like, oh, I want to tell people about it? I put that wall in the wrong place. Put this wall over here. Ah, there we go. Okay. Ben Louis, Ben Loy says, love your content, man. Excited to get this castle. Thank you very much, Ben. Appreciate that. Tiago says, Saturn V and NES. Oh, okay. I I was not sure that the NES was going to be a fun build. And it's one of the reasons it is also in my backlog. It's sitting right over there. The Saturn V parts, my Saturn V parts are actually right underneath this table. My NES is sitting over there in a box. And um, I just haven't got to them. I just haven't got to them yet. I don't know when I will. Sashmeet says, can you build Lego Safari? Can I build Lego Safari? What does that mean? Like, is it a is it a specific set or a theme? Lego Safari? Or you want me to build a mock that is a Lego Safari? Were there, like, Safari sets? I think there were, weren't there? With those kind of... Or am I thinking of, like, adventure? I could build Lego Safari. I don't have any of that stuff. Garrett says, not a huge set, but my favorite has always been 7292. Not sure what it's called, but it's a little creator three-in-one red airplane. 
Yeet Life says, hey guys, I'm going to go, but I wish you luck on the set, Boone. Thank you very much, Yeet Life. Uh, Bacadere Bat. You're going to have to tell me how to pronounce that. Is it Buc Bacadere? Bacadere? Bacadere Bat? Or Firstborn? Firstborn, one of the... Um, one of the... What are those called? Uh, Ninjago Dragons, right? Firstborn? Um, yeah, that was, a, that was pretty rad. The Lego Boy says, hello there, Mr. Boone. Hello. Thanks for watching. Make my resume team. What? <laughs> That's an interesting YouTube handle. Make my resume team. Uh, the Lego Boy says, my first set from Creator 3-in-1 is still 3-in-1. Uh, I still own this day. Okay, cool. All right, these windows are going to be cool. and I'm going to show you just a little bit more detail in a moment what those look like. And, yeah, let's see. Let's do this. All right, so this is two cheese slopes on snot bricks. And when you put them together like this, it makes like this really narrow castle window. And when you do the dark gray with the light gray, it sort of makes it look like two different like types of stone. That's pretty cool. I like to think that the Lego boy is a Lego with a brick computer with a sticker for a screen. Yeah. <laughs> Lego boy says, your thoughts on the Infinity Gauntlet? I will get it. It's epic. Um, I don't know. I, I like the Avengers. I do not collect any of the Avengers stuff. And not because, I mean, for people who like Avengers and want to collect the Avengers stuff, you certainly should. There's no reason you shouldn't. I just don't. It's just not, I don't know. Um, I just have, you know, I have to be careful with budget and space and uh and i mean like the physical space in my house because uh i share this space with people and i have to feed my kids so i just i the whole point of that is i don't buy everything um and so i'm really kind of strict about with strict with myself about what i buy for my own personal collection and um, the stuff that I show here on the channel is completely different because um, I bring it in, I, you know, share it with all of you. A lot of times I give this stuff away. A lot of times I, like, find uh, some other lovely home for this stuff, um, you know, with another fan or whatnot. But, but for the stuff that I am going to choose to, like, keep around and, like, sit on shelves for a long time... I'm really strict with myself uh, on on what I restrict those collections to, and it's really basically like um, Batmobiles, uh, Slave One, Ghostbusters. That's pretty much it, and mocks. So all the other stuff that I have up are mocks. I put this the wrong way. Ben says, I love the gray shields used for the battlements. Yeah, I'm excited about putting those up there. Here we go. One more of these. So I think these are the shields Ben's talking about right here. Snowlana says, okay, I'm going to sleep now. We'll catch the rest of the build in the morning. Can't wait to see the finished product. Looking forward to the other three in one sets, especially the spaceship. Cheers. Thanks, Snowlana. Sea Bacon says, so you like cheese? I do like cheese. Where did that come from? Um, oh, other side. So I got to flip this around. 
we'll do this here and yeah tan jam says good night to snowlena what will you name the highness what will you name the highness i don't know the 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 person like the, the person in this set that's supposed to be like the ruler is that what you're talking about oh everyone's saying good night to snowlena thanks snowlena you're so awesome appreciate you being here thanks for hanging out thanks for watching okay so there's that I think um so it's just about eight o'clock i think i'm gonna go for about another hour probably and and then uh and then come back and do the rest later so i'm gonna hope that i can get to the end of at least this first part of the castle in the next hour and then we'll at least be able to see like oh cool this is what it looks like from the front without the wings Without the east wing and the west wing. Bump, bump, bump. Bump, 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 bump. Do, do, do. Ooh, cool. We're going to build like part of the roof. So I need this big brown piece. Should be able to crank some of this out quickly. There's that. And this. Everybody's saying goodnight to Snowlena. Snowlena gave a super chat earlier in the stream, so thank you very much for that, Snowlena. C Bacon says, How many streams are you going to get out of this set? Hopefully just two. One day he's going to forget to turn off his stream and we will see him dancing to Fleetwood Mac. Ha ha ha. Yeah. Probably not, but maybe if you're lucky. Um, it's interesting to think about like forgetting to turn off the stream. Would I ever, could I ever end a stream without turning it off? I think that would be a fairly unusual occurrence, but I won't say it's impossible. I've probably done stranger things. Stranger things have happened. And now I've said stranger things three times. Okay, this is cool. So the, the roof is going on here. It's going to look nice. So from the front now, you can see that that gatehouse has a nice sloped roof. Pretty cool. That's pretty great. Chicken Bricks says, hi, Boone. Hi, Chicken Bricks. C. Bacon says, I know a guy who somehow accidentally started streaming with an error, started streaming an error screen. Oh, that's a bummer. Okay. We've got more to do here. So back here on the back side, we've got some panels to put on. Mm-hmm there okay a couple of these oh yeah i definitely think we're going to be able to finish this front part of the castle i think this these pieces right here are going to finish the front part of the castle and all of these okay so i just need one two uh wait the ones that are angled. So these angled inverted slopes, like double double inverted slopes. TJ Mullen, how do you balance what sets you buy store display? Did you just come in? Because I was just talking about that. Um, I just, I limit myself to the, um, the ones that are in like my specific, my specific, uh, it, oh, but maybe you mean like of those, which ones do I, you know, display, store, buy, store, display. 
Okay, so I'll say one more time. I only buy Ecto ones, uh, uh, Ghostbuster stuff, Batmobiles, and Slave One from Star Wars. Those are the only sets that I'm sort of actively like collecting. I intend to build every one of those. So if I have some that are like sitting in boxes, it's just because I haven't built them yet, but I do intend to build them. I do intend to display all of those. Um, so all of the ones that I have so far, I have on display. Um, and I haven't run out of room for those yet, but that's why I'm, that's why I so narrowly focus on collecting just those few things. Cause they're like my favorite things. And then, um, aside from that, so a store, how do I decide what? Yeah. Oh no. Thank you. How are you? Okay. Um, Danny just came to check on me. That was very nice. Uh, the sets that I store. I don't really intentionally store sets for long term. So up there, I've probably got mm, up on this shelf. I've got some boxed sets and there might be six to 10 box sets up there. And over here, I've got a box that probably has half a dozen sets in it. Um, and those sets are just sets that I will have until I decide to build them or I will find some other homes for them. Um, and uh, they're, But I don't really hold on to any set that I don't intend to build. Um, I just don't, I just don't, I don't have a big backlog of like sets that I'm like saving for ever. Uh, I don't keep them. I, I get rid of them. I, you know, if, if there's sets that I own and can sell, then I'll just sell them. If it's sets that I got through the LAN, then I will give them away here on the channel, or I will find a friend locally that wants them. Um, oh, I'm looking at it backwards. There's a lot of turning this thing back and forth in these instructions. I hope that answered your question, TJ. Um, anyway. I just don't have a... I, that's why I set those like... Those three very kind of focused collections are what I collect. And everything else is up for... Up, it's fair game for getting out of here. Um, I don't really do investment Lego because I don't know. I just never have. I've never really been into like Lego investments. I don't think because I don't. I don't believe that Lego is a wise investment unless you have a store. So if you've got a brick and mortar store or you've got a BrickLink store or you have like an active eBay store or something like that, then I believe having Lego inventory for future sale makes sense. Um, but if you're just a normal person and you just like are buying a bunch of Lego sets for investment purposes, at some point in the future, you've got to have a way to liquidate those assets without spending a bunch more money that, you know, because it costs money to sell something, right? Any, there's no way to sell something without incurring more cost. Um, whether it being, you know, as simple as eBay fees or, um, owning, you know, paying rent on a brick and mortar store or, uh, you know, having your own website where you sell stuff, those all cost money. And some of those can be fairly low cost, but then there's also the time, right? The time 
So I I don't have a brick and mortar store. I don't have like a regular presence on um, eBay and setting up you know, let's say I went to a store and I bought five copies of a set and then I was going to hold on to them for some number of years and then I was going to sell them on my website. Um, you know, setting up a product on my website t- just to sell five copies, it's n- it's not worth the time um, that it would take to do that. So I guess what I would say is and I don't know why I got on this. Probably part of TJ's question inspired me to think about this, but um, that's just the reason I don't I don't buy any Lego sets that are intended for f- like investment purposes. Because if it's an if if you consider it an investment, you have to have a plan for how you're going to liquidate those assets when when they increase in value, and. Um, Otherwise, you're just buying Lego, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with buying Lego and like letting it sit on your shelves. But um, it's just not what I do. I want them to get built. So either I'm going to build them or I'm going to connect them with someone who's going to build them. Bretsky says, you need to build the NES. Oh, okay. Yeah. So the NES, like I said, I've got, you know, I've got maybe somewhere around 20 sets that I do intend to build and they're here somewhere, either up there or over there. Um, and I do intend to build those. Uh, I just haven't built them yet. TJ Mullen says, I did. Thank you for your insightful answer. Where does the Saturn V and NES fit into your plan? Yeah, they're just, those are in my, I, they are sets that I definitely want to build. I have them here. I have one copy of each. The Saturn V isn't even in the box. It's just like a, a shipping box full of pieces of the Saturn V. So I certainly intend to build it. I just haven't gotten around to it. Um, and then the NES is the same way. I have sort of this piece of co- this idea about a piece of content to do with the NES. And it's about sort of like my lifelong experience with the NES. So And so that one is just sort of like... I haven't gotten around to like really creating, like crafting the imagination for what that, what that piece of content is going to be like. Um, Cause uh, the NES came out very early in my childhood and I've, I've owned a number of NES consoles. I've let's see one, two, three, four, five. I've owned, I've owned five or six NES consoles throughout my life. So I have little stories that kind of go with how I got each of my NES consoles. And um, so I kind of imagine that being part of like uh, the content for when I build the NES. And I just haven't like thought through that content yet. Unfortunately, now it's, it's the NES came out. What did the NES come out? a year and a half ago or did it come out almost a year ago? I can't remember now. I think it came out in the fall and I think it might have been the fall of 2019. Oh, this is going to look so good, y'all. Look at this so far. Look at this. And the last few finishing details I'm going to put on the top of the castle here are going to make it just pop even more. All right. This is so much fun. So much fun, much fun. Brick Dad Dan, Brick Dad Dan says, hi, Boone. Hey, Brick Dad Dan. Okay, listen, do y'all know um, Bat, uh, Brick Bat Dad? Brick Bat Dad on YouTube and Instagram just released this video yesterday of this uh, this little kind of, what is it? It's um, Optimus Prime. It's a little Optimus Prime statue and um you just like turn one of the wheels and it like transforms from the semi truck to the robot and it happens like that it's like and it's amazing and it's completely manual and it's all made out of lego and it's brilliant and uh i think it's going to explode i think he's going to wish he had like instructions for sale somewhere 
Um, okay. Lego NES, August 1st, 2020. Yeah, okay, that was that was not long ago. Really? That, it wasn't out in 99? I trust you. If you went and looked it up and you're saying it was August 2020, but I, August does sound right. Um, we got these boxes. It was this big box of sets to kind of thank us for being on Lego Masters. And the NES was one of the sets inside that box. Um, so, and, and that, I guess, came in August. I remember they they were like sorry this came so late and i think it was probably because they were waiting you know it came like six months after the show ended or something like that and it may have been because they were waiting to like give us some of the cool new stuff and the nes was one of those things but because i think the um season two folks got their box like immediately after they were done I think maybe this is going to be some kind of bird. I'm building a bird, it looks like. I'm building a bird. Just two cheese wedges. I'll zoom in on this so you all can see the bird. Little, little brick-built bird. Okay, so this is what Tangian was talking about, about the brick-built animals in creator sets and i'm not a hundred percent sure that i really put together that like all animals in creator sets are brick built um and i can't figure out how this goes on it must go like there okay yep so this is gonna be like a cool like oh i'm not even showing you guys i had it out sorry this is going to be like a little kind of like falcon up on a perch, something like that. And it goes right up here like this. And now I get to go, I get to put these on the battlements just as uh, I think TJ mentioned earlier, these shields that go on the battlements. And I... I think I would call these ramparts, but maybe the, maybe the battlement is the maybe the battlement is the stone and the rampart is the gap in between, or maybe I just have that completely wrong. But I oh that looks so good! Look at how good that looks! Look at how good it is! Oh my gosh, this is amazing! They did a great job with this. Very exciting. Buckadera Bat says, I'm going to make a sandwich. Please do. When I'm done with this stream, I'm going to be ready for breakfast. All right. And now I think I'll probably build, I think the next page is like, oh, this is, this looks so cool. So we're going to build these banners that hang on the front of the castle. And this is fairly simple, but um, it's really nice looking execution of a banner that's made from, you know, some plates and tiles, basically. And then a little bar handle at the top. So there's one. And the other is just identical to it. <laughs> ben says, yeah, I love that. I'm going to buy a bunch of those shields. Oh, it was Ben. Was it Ben that brought that up? Plagued Brick Film says that bird looks like a vulture. Yeah, that's vulture is sort of... Um, I just always think of like the vultures in Robin Hood, in Disney's Robin Hood. Okay, so here we go. So now I'm going to turn this on its back so that you can watch me put these on. And it's like, once this 
Once this is ready, the whole front of the castle is going to be done. Maybe I should stop right now. Should I stop right now or should I go until the end of the hour? I could open another bag and go till the end of the hour or we could stop right now because this, this would be a great stopping place. But I'm happy to build until the end of the hour. I'm going to build until 9 a.m. my time. Okay. I don't see anybody saying anything, so I'm just going to go ahead and build at least bag four. Oh, no, wrong bag. Keep going. All right, cool. I will. Do, 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 do. Easy Craft said, oh, I thought you meant stop before you put the other banner on. <laughs> The medieval would say you have no rights on this channel. What? The medieval would say you have no rights on this channel. You have no rights on this channel. Twist your arm to build more Lego. Okay. You're twisting my arm to build more Lego. Oh, darn. Okay. Will do. I'm going to keep going here. Oh, he means the king. The the medieval king would say you have no rights on this channel. <laughs> Ooh, there's a sword. I see a sword. So so far, with the first minifigure we got archery bow. Second minifigure we got a spear. And now we have a sword. Although it doesn't show to put it in in their hand, so it must be that this is gonna go somewhere else but we get to put this third minifigure together and by these parts of the instructions it's going to get black legs i think this looks like a pirate torso to me and this guy's always oh, got sort of a dirty face i thought it was a scar but it's more like a kind of a dirty face so you can see that there There you go. Goatee, dirty face, matches this like dark nougat hair, or this is like maybe dark orange, something like that. So there's our three mini figures. The three mini figures for this set have been completed. They're done. I'm setting them aside. King Tut. Ryan O'Donnell says the king wants his castle built. Yeah, that's interesting. There is, there's no king. There's no king in the set. I wonder what that means. I wonder, do you think that means we'll get something with a king in it? A lot more of the pieces that we were using in the first bag to sort of create this earthen area around the castle. I think it's pretty cool that the front of the castle actually looks like it's built um, f like on kind of like a little hillish thing. So if you look here, the castle wall on this side goes all the way down to the ground, basically. The castle wall on this side is sort of up on top of like an earthen area. Find a brick that looks closest to you and put a crown on it. Okay. <clears throat> what, yeah, what if I made myself like the uh, my, my sig fig, the king of this castle? That would be funny. I should find a crown. I know I've got one somewhere. Oh, you know what I'll do is I'll go get a king. I'll go get a king when the castle's done. Here's another one of those. This is the different style of knight helmet. And I need some flowers on these little flower areas. Let's see if I can get this bag done. I've got 38 minutes. Can I get this bag done in 38 minutes? I gotta fly like the wind. You must be a uh, must be a democ democracy dumb. <laughs> uh, yeah, the king is just a figurehead. <laughs> Get it? Figurehead. That's a Lego pun. Not a brick. I mean a minifigure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'll take my sig fig. And 
turn it into a king. That would be funny. I'm going to do it. I'm totally going to do that. When this is done, I'm going to take the boon sig fig and put a crown, like a crown and a cape on it and um, make, make it a boon king. And then I'll put him inside this castle. Great idea. I am not opposed. I am neither opposed nor offended at any of that. People are like, why would you be offended? No, I wouldn't. I'm just totally kidding. Put this in the wrong place. I need the almighty separator. Pew. Pew. There we go. There's that. There's that. So I'm interested to see what like part of the building this becomes over here. I don't know off the top of my head what I'm building. But it is some other part of the castle. Boone, you know that the queen ru the queens rule the castle. Is that true? Okay, the queens rule the castle. There you go. Well, that's fine. Bump, 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 bump. I don't know why you said the queens rule the castle. My first gut reaction was to hum a little bit of Here Comes the Bride. Here comes the queen. Um, what what is the what is the music? There's there's music for the queen, isn't there? Is it um? Do they play that? I think we stole that in America to play for the like Hail to the Chief is was actually originally like Here comes the queen or something like that. I don't know. I'm not. I don't know much about that stuff. King is the highest power, though, isn't it? I don't know. That that like in chess, I'm sure. Um, king and queen, like we're talking about medieval stuff here, but like generally speaking, king, queen, and what, what their powers are would be purely like based on like geography and culture, right? Like in some places, a king would be considered the most powerful and in other places a queen would be considered the most powerful. I don't know. Well, let's see. I'm looking for one more pink one by one and I don't see it. Do I have any in my extra pieces? Yep, I've got one in my extra pieces pile. So we'll put that there and I'll probably have an extra one when we get done with this. Or maybe I used too many on the other side. That's exactly what I did. I used two over there, but I'm just going to leave it. Okay. Now I'm putting in a couple of these round macaroni bricks. Right here. Or king if there's a king on the throne. Alright. I wouldn't complain... I, w uh, I, I would compliment you on your building skills, but this seems neither the time nor the place. What? <laughs> okay. Now I've got I Dream of Genie in my head. It's one of the ones. I Dream of Genie and like the uh, Jurassic Park theme song are probably two of the most common like s tunes stuck in my head. Ba, ba, da, ba, ba, ba. So you've probably heard this on a stream before. Sorry, classic Steve Martin joke there. Oh, okay. Bretsky says, well, I mean, even in chess, the king is the figurehead and the queen does all the work. Oh, that's funny, yeah. King Boone has a medieval recording studio. <laughs> Let's get medieval on this. Where's my style at? <laughs> Ooh, we got some gold bars, some gold ingots to put in the treasure chest. And this is a very lightly colored treasure chest, like a... Uh, I'd call that medium nougat, although I don't really know. 
just kind of pulled that out of thin air and it's not closing why won't it close I got too many things in there uh, the ingots are in the wrong place there we go chest is closed nice awesome okay I think this is probably gonna end up being a fireplace over here so what do I do put these like kind of red transparent grillish looking pieces in there maybe it's a grill maybe this is like the blacksmith maybe it's um maybe it's the the who, who what do you think they called the guy the cook maybe it's the cook orange bricks is here orange bricks in the house Braden Hughes says all hail King Boone orange bricks says I want that set that chest is f from some Minecraft sets. Okay, when they started making the chest in that lighter color from Minecraft, sounds good to me. I won't argue with you. I'm going to try not to yawn. Because uh, I woke up really early for this stream. It'll be interesting to me to see how many people watch this later. Like, will more people watch this when it's not early in the morning and like during work and school I never know when a good time to do a live stream is I'm just always trying different stuff orange brick says I'd rather spend my money on the new speed champions the new speed champions are actually looking pretty rad um, I had an opportunity I was invited to I was invited by the land to show the new speed champions on this Oh, it looks like this is the blacksmith shop because we're putting like a sword on an anvil. So I could have had those new speed champion sets and I could have been uh, building those right now, maybe. But um, I just I missed out on it because it went to the wrong email. So I got all my email stuff sorted out. And now we should be good. Okay, this goes... this the new speed champions are so nice love the Ford GT yeah Bretsky I think that probably would have been my favorite one um where do, is the sheep what set is the sheep coming in I can't remember off the top of my head which set that sheep is supposed to come in I think the sheep looks cute. Uh, Dirge, Dirge King says, I loved your build on Lego Masters. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Oh, yeah, Ben, it's the it's in a Disney farm set. Yeah, that's exciting. Um, I think it looks cute. I don't know that I have any other, like, strong opinions on it. What do you think? Ben, what do you think about the new sheep? Sorry, you guys. I got up too early this morning. I'm fighting the yawns. This is where our this is where our sword goes. Where'd that sword go? So here's the sword. The sword is like on top of the anvil. Like this is maybe this guy's the blacksmith. And he works in the blacksmith shop. I mean, I think that guy is probably whoever we want him to be. Whoa, this is cool. So then. The next thing we do is put a hammer in like a little Technic piece and then that gets a um, frictionless Technic pin and then that goes in here and then you can use this as like a mechanical, oh wait that doesn't seem right. I've got this one stud off. So then you can use this like a little mechanical like bang, bang, bang. Can you see that? It's like a little, uh, like the blacksmith would use that. And I'm trying to hold it sideways so gravity's not going to do its thing. But you can go like, brown, brown, brown. like forging the, forging the steel for battle. 
the blacksmith builds the blueprints for his medieval Lego sets in which the king uses for his recording studio. That's from, uh, hey, Leah. Leah is here. Your new camera is awesome. Thank you very much. Leah said, your new camera is awesome. Look, I can, I can, I can go out there a little bit. I can go a little bit tighter. I can go like way super tight in case I want to show you like a minifigure. And I can go over to those. So like if I walk over there, get some parts or if I walk over there to get some parts and then these are my shelves where I like display the sets that I like to have displayed. All right. And then I can go back to here. Thank you, Leah. Appreciate that. <laughs> um, the one thing it doesn't do, which I'm trying to think through, is like with this castle right now, you only get the castle from the top view. So it'd be nice if I... Re I'm, I'm kind of beginning to wonder if I should have mounted that camera just slightly like over my right shoulder or something like that. I don't, I don't know what would be best, but we'll see. We'll work it out. I'm always tweaking things around here. 834. I got to finish this bag. I got to finish this bag by nine. And it'll be great. Uh, Dirge King. Thanks. Or Dirge King said you're welcome. Be, be, did I say thanks? Early in the morning. Leah, how have you been? How have you been, Leah? Hope uh, hope you have a wonderful day. All right, now I got to turn this around again. Okay. Why wouldn't they have me do that first? Sometimes I'm a little bit confused about the order of steps. And then I do what they tell me to do. And I'm like, yeah, there was no reason it should have been in that order. This is going to be such a good looking castle. I'm not sure I'm seeing new uh, chats right now. Maybe, maybe just no one's chatting. 8.33. It's been a solid two minutes since I've seen a chat come through, which is fine. Okay, easy crap. There, it just came in. Going to get the new Tumblr. Hoping to go tan to match the Dark Knight Rises version. Um, I have... Oh, my goodness. There's even going to be some function here to make that hammer go up and down on its own. Um, I saw a picture of what the Tumblr theoretically looks like. I don't know if it was a leak or if it was like a... Or if it was a someone, you know, kind of making up their own version of what it should look like. Um, I actually, you're going to think I'm crazy. I've only got one Tumblr set. I do aspire to own every Lego Batmobile eventually. So I will eventually pick up. Yeah, okay. Angelo Bacadera Bat says, hello. Hey. Easy Craftsman says, I think someone took the original and updated the box art. Okay, so it was like a Photoshop. Um, yeah, I the, the Tumblr, and I love Batmobiles. The Batmobile is like one of my favorite things in the world. I love the Batmobile. I have loved the Batmobile since I was a kid. I've always, want, I've always wished I could like actually drive a real Batmobile. Um... When I married Danny, I was like, listen, you have to understand that someday I'm going to drive a Batmobile. And I don't know if, I don't know if I still aspire to that dream or not, but, um, but maybe, uh, but I love the Batmobile and my whole point in telling that story was to say the Tumblr is my least favorite Batmobile. And I mean, I mean, the Tumblr is my least favorite Batmobile of all all time and i hate to say it because i know some people love it but um 
there have been hundreds of Batmobiles through the history of film, television, and mostly in the comic books. The comic books are where most of the variations of the Batmobile come from. Um, and like maybe there are a couple like really, really obscure ones that I would like less than the Tumblr. But I like almost every Batmobile. Okay, TJ Mullen says, do you try to stop at the end of a bag or do you put the pieces in a container and come back at the at a later time? I have done both. I think today the timing is going to be fairly good to stop at the end of a bag. I do like to stop at the end of a bag when I can. Um, you know, it's not always easy, but sometimes it's just like works out perfectly. And I think today might be one of those days. Because I've got 20 minutes left, and I think I can put all these pieces on in 20 minutes. So, especially if I keep building. Easy Craftsman says, I agree. I'm all about the 66 and 89 Batmobile version, uh, versions of the Batmobile myself. Absolutely. Those are certainly my two favorite. 89, I think 89 is my top favorite. 66 is very close second. Um, but... uh and sometimes I think I like the 66 more than the 89, but those are certainly, certainly my favorites. Um, but I even like, I prefer, uh, I think my least favorite film Batmobile is Batman forever, but I even like that Batmobile better than the Tumblr. <laughs> Cause it, cause it looks like a Batmobile to me, to me, the Tumblr just doesn't look like a Batmobile. Um, and I get it. And I think it makes a lot of sense in the story of Christopher Nolan's Batman trilogy. Um, I think it makes a lot of sense. I think it exists really well in a real world in maybe a way that no other Batmobile does. Um, and, and for that reason, it makes sense why it looks the way it looks. Uh, and I, and I like that. I'm not even, I'm not even upset about like how it exists in the movie. I like that. And I think it makes a lot of sense just from like a car, like a cool car standpoint. Uh, to me, it's, I don't know. It just, I never thought it was, I never thought it was, um, in keeping with the spirit of the history of the Batmobile. Um, but that, but that's fine. It's not a problem. And it's not that I don't like it. I do like it. Even as a, like, as a really rad, awesome vehicle, like it is really cool. I think it is an objectively cool vehicle. It is just m happens to be my least favorite Batmobile. Okay. I've talked about that enough. The massive center wing on the forever version bothers me. There are overpasses it wouldn't fit under. <laughs> yeah, it is maybe too large on the forever Batmobile, but I do like, I have used the like large center wing in at least one of my Batmo uh, Batmobile mocks. Um, so I do think there is something kind of cool about that um, changing kind of the symmetry of the I'm missing a bracket. Changing the symmetry of the bat wings, that that center one, you know, at least in like film and television, forever was the first time that was done. It may not have been the first time it was done in the comics. I don't know. I don't know that off the top of my head, but um, but I did like how things like the glowing blue aspect of the forever. Hey, Ike Grawl is watching. Hey, everybody, welcome, Ike Grawl. Ike Grawl is a dear friend of mine, and uh, it's great to see you in the chat, dude. I am building Lego Creator 3-in-1 Castle, so the front of the castle is done. You can see it here, and it's pretty cool, and the drawbridge goes up with a little rotating lever over there. And now I'm working on like the black, the, the I don't know. I was going to say blacksmith shop, but blacksmith shop just came out as a, a separate official set. So this is just part of the castle, another part of the castle. Richard Seamus said, uh, I had a 66 when I was a kid, obviously not a Lego one. 
Yeah, just you'd like had a toy of the 66 Batmobile when you were a kid. Probably Corgi or who else made it back then? Corgi was the big one. Um, I mean, the, like the, the most, probably the most popular company that was building the Batmobile back in like the 60s and 70s. Corgi and there was another one and I can't think off the top of my head who it was. But oh well. So here's a little thing to set the the knight's kind of armor on. And it goes inside here. So this, I mean, this really looks like a blacksmith. Or maybe this is just like the armorer. Maybe the like armorer, armory would be a different... Maybe a different person than the like blacksmith of the town. I don't know. I don't know much about that. Uh, Chobits, Chobits 99 says you were the true winner of Lego masters. Thank you so much. The Lego boy is back. So now we've got a whole little spot where that extra set of armor can hang here. And I don't think that particular armor piece existed in the eighties when, um, like the castle kind of the classic castle sets that this is based on i don't think that particular armor piece was out i think that's a more recent piece and that may be why they've put it in side here instead of on the minifigures because the classic castle look is really more like you know a plain torso with whatever the castle faction logo is on the torso Awesome. Cool. This is coming together. I think I'm going to have these pieces done in the next 15 minutes. And then I'm going to stop for today. Man, is that lame of me? Should I just um, should I just power through? I at least need to stop. I might finish the rest later today. But I at least need to stop to like have my morning meeting with the family here. And... Um, and eat breakfast and stuff like that. So, yeah. Do you think there will ever be additional additional level set for the Nintendo NES? Different cartridge slash level would be cool. I don't know. Um, that that would have been cool. It seemed like they would have released that. Like, doesn't it seem like they would have announced that when the um, Like when the new when they announced the new Luigi stuff or something, I don't know. I guess I don't really know. But uh, but it certainly would be cool. And you know what you can do? You can build your own, build your own level. Um, I think that's what I thought would be a really cool idea is to just like take the NES set and just like build a new level. You know, like I think I saw someone uh, Mel did that. Mel from whatchamacallit from lego masters <laughs> he built some other levels i think he built like the the Okay, I'm done with that one. But I think he built that one, and I think he built the um. I think he built that one too. Let's see, uh, Ryan says something about yes. Uh, Richard said yes with the bat cave. What is that? Yes with the bat cave. Yes with a bat cave. A bat cave level of. Oh, I was very excited when they did it for a Lego Bat Cave. Mm. Oh yeah, I see what you're saying, Richard. Yeah, so they did the Lego, they did the Lego Bat Cave. Um, the nineteen uh, the nineteen sixty six Lego Bat Cave that had the Batmobile in it, 
and now they've just released oh i'm i'm so disappointed i missed out on it because now it's on back order and it says it ships in 60 days the new 1966 batmobile it's so good it's it's the one from the bat it's basically from what i can tell it, it looks basically similar to the one from the bat cave set but it's like a little bit better like they've made just a couple of improvements on it um I'll never forget the smell of that vinyl bat cave. You had the vinyl bat cave. So was that Mego? I think um Mego, because I remember I I had the Mego um classic Starship Enterprise bridge for a while, and it was like kind of that vinyl thing. But uh I c I'm not able to call up what the bat cave looked like in my head right now. But uh but that sounds cool. I remember the the Toy Biz Bat Cave, like the whole front of the Bat Cave was plastic, and then you put the whole back of the Bat Cave on, and it was just like cardboard, like printed cardboard. And um, so it's really, really hard to find that in good condition these days because the cardboard just always sort of got obliterated by kids mostly. Back in the day. All right, what's going on here? I'm getting close to the end of this one. Oh, and man, we got people in now. Maybe I'll keep going. Yeah, Mel Brown, aka Iceberg Bricks. Oh, and speaking of that, um, I'll take a moment here to say that tomorrow I'm going to be streaming in kind of like a stream train here on YouTube, and it's going to be it's going to start with Mel Brown over on Iceberg Bricks. And I believe that's at, uh-oh, I think that's at 2 p.m. 2 p.m. Pacific time, which would be 5 p.m. Yeah, that makes sense. 5 p.m. Eastern time. And um, we are going to be raising money. So we're going to be supporting Travis, Travis Samuels from uh, the Brothers Who Brick, also from Lego Masters. He had leukemia as a kid, and he is doing a fundraiser. He's he's basically running a campaign. Every year they do a fundraiser called, uh, like, Men and Women or Man and Woman of the Year for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. And um, Travis has put together a, t um, you know, is putting together a campaign to raise money to be a contender for man of the year for the LLS leukemia and lymphoma society. Here's another one of those rad two by six tiles. I've never used this before. It's amazing. And, um, so we're going to go on four people's channels tomorrow. We're going to start with iceberg bricks, Mel Brown. We're going to come over here to boon builds. Then we're going to go to tricky bricks. That's Flynn and Richard from Lego masters. And then we're going to go to, Corey and Travis on Corey's, I think, um, Brothers Who Brick on YouTube. And, um, and that'll be, that'll be the end of the stream. And we're just going to, we're going to send people to the link to try to raise money for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. So come on over and check that out tomorrow. Should be good. Leah says those coins they just created are fantastic. Yeah, the huge Mel and Jermaine just built this giant coin. Is that what you're talking about? Uh, Bacadera Bat says they are on their way out. Is that right? My phone's going to die. Goodbye, everyone. I look forward to King Boone and his castle. Thank you so much for uh, watching. Sunshine, sunshine on a rainy day is here. Hi, all. Just spotted the stream. Looking forward to seeing the finished castle. Me too. I don't think I'm going to finish in this stream, but I may finish in a stream later today. I don't want it to go on. Um, the Slave 1 went on way too long. What are all these pieces? Did I miss something? I was thinking this brown piece went in here. That's just an extra piece from the holder, the 
thing on the other side. Okay, what time is it? 8.52? All right, we'll just stop and chat for a few minutes because uh, I'm going to stop. I'm going to go have my meeting. I'm going to eat breakfast, and then I'll try to publish something to uh, let you all know when, when I'm coming back for the end of this build. There's one, two, three... There's only three bags back, so we could probably get the rest done in another like two hour stream. So I've just gone for three, almost three hours. We'll stop in just a few minutes here. But let's take a look at what we have so far. I don't know what all this is from. I'm not done yet, I guess. I'm gonna put these on here. And what else? Okay, oh, okay, this is starting to make more sense. I'm like, there's too many pieces here for me to be done. What's up? And we got these here. So this is actually like a water, what do you call that? A water mill? Is that what you call that? A water, this is like the water house. So they're using like water power for, oh, that makes sense. Okay, so it's going to be a water powered blacksmith hammer. Now I'm missing a one by one plate. I don't know where I put it. I'm probably just going to go have to grab one because it, it's lost somewhere. I'll be right over there. I'll be right back. I'm going to go over. Okay, I'm back. So I had to go get some parts because I'm either missing or I lost a one by two plate in dark gray. There's one. All right, Richard says, I was only four or five when I got that vinyl back cave. Excuse me. So I couldn't, I couldn't tell you who made it. What year was that? Can you tell us what year it was? If it was in the seventies, I almost guarantee you it was Mego. Okay. Now are we done? Does this look like all of, do all of these pieces look like they would be leftovers? Yeah. 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 That's a, this is a crazy amount of leftover pieces, but they're all maybe maybe not this many of these so let's see did i miss those somewhere there oh yep two of them look missing right there oh. i always get to the um leftover pieces you know when i was a kid there were not leftover pieces in lego sets oh moto is here ahoy moto i'm just about to stop but i'm so glad to see you glad you're here all right, so this is bag five. Um, so let's just take a look at what we've got so far. So here is the front of the castle. If you've just joined us in the last... I keep breaking that off. It'll get better once I connect the next piece, but it's hard to grab now. So here is the front of the castle. Oh my goodness, look at how cool it looks. Doesn't that look great? And then I can press this little lever in here, lift the lever, and the drawbridge will come down. Except it's just not a perfect mechanism because sometimes, sometimes that chain gets bound up in there. So that's one thing that's a little bit challenging from time to time. But the way the drawbridge lifts is very cool. There's a little knob over here. And there goes the drawbridge. Bretsky says, when when we were kids, you couldn't go to Twitter to complain about missing a one by one. What? Yeah, that's for sure. Okay, so there's the castle part. I I just I think this looks so cool. I'm very pleased. 
Luke Marshall says, I watched the show. Sweet. Thanks for watching. And then over here, this is going to be like a water wheel powered blacksmith shop. So imagine the, on the next bag, we'll build the water wheel that goes here. And this will turn around when the water flows. And then when that turns, I don't know if you can see this. Do you see this in there? Let me see. And it's not going to work quite right because of gravity, but when the water wheel turns, it like makes the hammer go up and the hammer go back down on the sword. So it's like a water powered, um, water powered blacksmith hammer. And I'll do it one more time here. Let it focus. And when, see when that goes around, it lifts the hammer up. And then if I wasn't holding this sideways, gravity would bring the hammer back down on top of the sword. That's cool. How many pieces does this have? Scribble Scrub says, how many pieces does this have? It has uh, 1,500. 1,500 pieces. And I am I am f about to open bag five of seven. So I've got three bags left. Here are the minifigs. Let's take a quick look at the minifigures. Zoom in here. So there are the minifigures. We get two kind of like knight bodies, three different heads, two knight helmets, a hair. And then actually here, I'll make this guy into a, into a knight as well. Because we've got these extra knight pieces from the, from the blacksmith shop over here. Not the blacksmith shop, but just this armory building. So we'll take this guy's head off and put this on him. And the only strange thing is that he ends up with these bare arms, but but that's fine. Because especially, I mean, if you were a kid and you got this set, and you'd be like, yeah, I got three knights. What's up now? And if we give him the sword from the from the anvil, then he'd be armed. Okay. That's it for now, everybody. Um, I'm going to come back and do the last few bags a bit later. Might be today. Might be like maybe tomorrow morning. I'll do it. I'll do it soon. I don't really want it to drag on like the Slave 1 did. But I think that was fun anyway. So thank you all so much for watching. Hey, Chris is back. Sunshine says, wish, uh, wish it had a couple more figs. I know if we get this, my daughter will love to play with it. We'll have a source. We'll have to source a princess for her. Oh, yeah. I'll be honest with you. We just had blacksmith shop. We've got this. I won't be surprised if we get a little bit more from this kind of medieval stuff in the near future. So hopefully we will have some other figs to play with. Thank you all so much. As Moto says, play well. And until next time, I hope you have an awesome time and go build something amazing.